third culture continues to thrive. A dark, unknowing threat begins to grow. Taking over communities across the globe, the villainous team known as Culture Vulture lands at the front door of Blurred Culture, demanding ownership of this beautiful world, wreaking havoc and causing mass destruction every step of the way. And with all hope lost, and the culture on the brinks of being overran, Deuce is the Yanas of podcasting, Bicardi Sensei the master of branding, and Didge the technical tactician. Collectively known as Geek Set has emerged once again to help blend hip hop culture and geek culture together in one place. Tune in as Geek Set curates the culture, celebrates our heroes, starts the discussion on important topics, and takes this culture to new, legendary heights that the world can be proud of. Geek Set, do what you love and love what you do. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the Geek Set Podcast. Only podcast that blend hip-hop coaching and geek coaching together. I'm your boy Deuces with me. I got my man Bacardi Sensei. What is good, everybody? How are we doing today? We are out here doing great. And as always, I got my man Ditch. What is happening, people? What is happening, people? Yeah, so back to it. Like, so Dizel <laughs> will get washed so Full much. stream with no sound. Oh, oh, shit. So nobody heard that Nobody alone? heard any of that. And I'm mad. It just hit now. Okay. Um, you know, I, you got to go over to Chase. What do you mean, like, nobody heard none of our banter, probably, too? Probably not. Ooh. Can I ch- let me see if I can change their mic Y'all settings. miss a great no, I don't think you can. You got to change yeah, from here. Yeah, so I know how to change. Um, oh, you have technical difficulties. One second, y'all. One second. What you just uh, doing some commercials real quick? No. Oh, I'm like, oh, that was a, oh, that was uh, a banner no, thing. So, okay. Right, so I'm not even yo, yo, yo. Throw some eagles in the chat if y'all can hear us. I don't care which chat you at. If Damn. You, if you can hear us right now, throw eagles in the chat. The, Let us know that y'all can hear us. recording's still there, though, right? Yeah. Okay, that's all. Can y'all hear us? I thought they were still just <laughs> setting up. It's crazy. I need to see eagles. So I, I don't, I'm not seeing no eagles. I don't think they can hear us, y'all. All right. Now. I mean, it's also a delay. There you go. Like, there, there's hey, also a delay. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, good. So y'all didn't get to hear this. So now we're going to talk we, we about can, it. We can start. We, we was doing a quick pre-show banter, and we was talking about some stuff, and Bacardi brought up this topic. So lead it back in. Okay. Um... So, like I said, I was on the phone with my guys last night, and we were just randomly talking about movies. We were talking about Expendables. But we had got into this idea of, like, why there isn't a, like, a kung fu version of Expendables using all of our, you know, famous kung fu people. And so that kind of led, of course, to everybody giving their ideas of, of kung fu people on Bach. And, I mean, Tony Jai and Donnie Yen and Jackie Chan and Jet Li and... Um, who the fuck else? There's a whole bunch of people. Bolo, yeah. Bunch of people. Bolo, yeah, Bolo. Yeah, like you can bring, like if you really, even if you find mo- like moments to put them in, like there's so many great like kung fu artists that you can literally bring back into this fold. And so in our idea though, the setup of this movie was them literally doing like a blood sport. And so the the wild thing of this though, because when we set up the idea of the blood sport, so now you're thinking about all these old legends kind of fighting this tournament. And I kind of changed that because. We curved this into Denzel Washington being a topic during this, where like <laughs> my guy was like, because we you know, like, think about we, like, we talk about Jackie Chan and Donnie and everybody, and my nigga was like, hey, though, Denzel might get in there though if you watch you saw you saw him on Equalizer, and that shit right there was bananas because it was but like again, like I said, so we got to have a real, real conversation uh, about Denzel yeah. and his characters because though Denzel. Though we love Denzel and we love the Expendables, if Denzel like, get put in a, a kung fu movie, his characters, one, we don't believe that that <laughs> Expendable character would be able to survive. And if I y'all saying that he would, y'all are severely that, lying. That, I'll give you that. Hold on, so somebody said there is, uh, shout out to Bo, he said that there is a triple threat on Netflix. I never heard of this It's movie. called what? Triple threat. I just looked it up. It came out in 2019. It don't got everybody. That's why he said, well, kind of. It do got like Tony Jai, got Michael Jai White on it, and Michael Jai White in it, and a bunch of other like these. These definitely are a bunch of other like kung fu niggas that I just don't know. They not they not like the historical ones. Okay, but they, and, I can't dude, think of the nigga that did the raid. He he called too the raid dude. So yeah. like it, there's Tony definitely Jai. something. But See, no, nigga had bro. I give you that. Denzel will get Denzel, washed. He was, so Denzel, Denzel fits in the Expendables, but if you start throwing kung fu in, I, bro, no, you right. You right when you're talking about Denzel. In a kung fu movie, that's just that's that was the name, bro. I didn't like know. Denzel. I was like, I, told, I said, bro, you got pure hatred for this nigga. <laughs> like, if you really want to like put Denzel. this nigga in the ring <laughs> with Donnie Yen, bro, 
but, I know. <laughs> but I, I, I do think there is a way that it could work to what you were saying yeah, before yeah. too, with so, Denzel being that that uh that basically he the boss behind all of it, and then Michael Jai White is his henchman because then you give okay. him the moment where you can have it be like the. Denzel, somebody come and try to, all right, fuck it, I'm just going to go to the boss. Right. Thinking they finna underestimate Denzel. Now you give him his moment where he can kind of show right. his, show his no, chops. See, I know it, you give him his moment. It ain't no kung fu. He's he, he going to take out a head spinner too. Yeah, no, take out it got to be, you know, like, he know how, like, the sensei still got his hands behind his back. Like, it's not really fighting, but he, like, great but that's evading. You got to be that, bro. You give him his moment where you, he, like you said, he take out somebody. <laughs> he, don't, he don't necessarily got to win that fight. But he think he finna go kick this dude ass. You know what? And then dude got her. He like, oh shit. Okay, wait. You actually can fight a little bit. But then that's probably when he, you know, then that's when Michael or Michael, Michael Jai White come back. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But you a... want Michael Jai White? <laughs> so yeah. So like I said, so in, the, my, so in my idea, in my too. idea of the story, like I said, it's blood sports. So all of these. So instead of like, I didn't want people to think that Jackie Chan old ass will be out here still fighting. So you might have moments. Yeah, Denzel with the sensei versus sensei. You will have moments where they might like, yeah, like Jackie Chan might run Jackie the jet lead. They might have a little that. quick little bar. They have, but I'm like, I don't really need to see seventy year old Jackie Chan fighting thirty niggas again. We don't need exactly. that no more. Exactly. Yeah. Denzel, if Denzel wins in this movie, it is the same. Uh, see, I just told you. I just told you. Remember I just said. So like I said, my controversial oh, take was that that all of fucking. Uh, uh, Denzel, yeah. no, the Denzel movies, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Equal, equalizers, that, that's, that's, equalizers no, with Steven Seagal. So like Robert my, McCall is Black Steven Seagal. But, see, bro. Like, but here's my point, and when we so when we think about the Expendables, I mean Expendables, right? Expendables. Expendables. <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> hey yo. Um, when we think about the Expendables, right? All of those people were action stars, but we still believe like these niggas can carry the guns, they can shoot. Hey, you may be jumping out of this car, but you're gonna be hurt. Like we can. That's still some believability, right? But in the kung fu, y'all. in kung fu, we kind of got to believe that the actor and the characters. <laughs> and I can't. Like, hey, that's what I said. This is gonna have to be. I said he's gonna have to be the he got to be the lazy uh, sensei. He got to be the sensei. I said that shit too. Yes, I said, bro. I don't even want to put this deal stunt double to this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, cause, cause I, I ain't never seen do a flip. I was about to say I ain't <laughs> never seen this deal do a backflip, bro. So you see the do he don't do flips in the equalizer. You don't gotta have him. He gonna, he, That's why I was so mad that bro. my guy put. He's like, he, I'm like, bro, what you think this thing was doing? The equalizer, like, he was doing a whole bunch of these, like, <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> no. I'm like, yes, whole he was vicious. The nigga was cutting niggas' necks and stabbing niggas. Like, I'm like, bro, I'm like, like I'm like, bro, you gonna had, you gonna have, you gonna have this hell catching me, dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't want this hell catching <laughs> that dog. Cause like, even, even, like, no, wait, no. even, in, even in Equalizer, does this nigga even do like a roll, like a barrel roll, like shoot, like this? Do we ever see him roll in? Duck on the cover. There's a lot of walking away from shit. Right, he like this. No, in equalizer, that nigga walk hey. into a room, do this and go. But I'm talking about. All right. I'm talking and, about because in like, kung fu, you on the floor, you on. But that's what I'm, I said. That's what I said. In kung fu, I get it. In kung fu, it, it's it's a bad deal. Your guy hate him. Now we talking about plot armor. But this got a lot do of plot armor, bro. Dude, this, I'm, now I'm trying to really go back and equalize. Are there actually moments where he actually do get his ass whooped? No. Yeah, yes, he do. Because the the Russian the Russian niggas was putting hands to him. When he was in the cell, they already had. Didn't they have him locked no, up or whatever? In the first one, the Russian niggas was putting their hands to him. When was the first one? Because he was he was severely younger than that. <laughs> I don't think he was that much younger. Like, what did the first one come out? Because y'all, I, I keep thinking y'all oh. keep going back to the and third that last one. It never and was. That's, that's what I keep <laughs> saying. Like the third Denzel, one, I that's what I said. the last one. That's it. Denzel was walking away from a lot of shit. Like, I'm just gonna throw this no, bomb. I'm gonna bust some shit up. The first one came out ten years that's ago. Smooth. Had, uh, yeah, I'm just saying, like Denzel. The, the, the first one came Denzel, out ten years ago. The only way Denzel ten years ago, Denzel would have to be the military operative or something because you know even in kung fu movies, there's I, always like said, there's I always people that's that's why I say in it. Like Denzel can be in it, I'm, yeah. but I'm then not better dis- not step in that ring. So that's I'm what, not disregarding <laughs> that. Y'all keep, I keep, I just want to make sure we make that. I get it against a kung. Y'all is acting like equalizer just ain't shit. I want, but see, like my thing, no equalizer code. It's Steven Seagal though. Like, it's definitely, <laughs> like <laughs> <in> every <laughs> Steven Seagal <laughs> movie. <laughs> Every oh, Steven Seagal oh, movie is actually Equalizer. So every, movie, every Steven Seagal movie is an Equalizer movie. Equalizer. Like, Steven Seagal always is taking care of saving somebody in the neighborhood. If you any think about any Steven Seagal so movie, y'all are he was helping. Disrespectful. Like, and he was always and in the room. So, so, they'll be doing the same. Look it. If Steven Seagal would have checked his watch back in the 80s, it would have been the same. Like, all you do is, I'm going to take it. Now, but, but he like, had that same confidence, though. He told niggas, like, I'm about to break both of your legs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But just- last point, I don't. The reason why I don't want Michael Jai White to be the 
the villain in it because we don't have a lot of black kung fu masters. So at least I don't know. Like, who's the new Michael Jai Watt? Who, who's I mean, the new, I mean, that's what I say for this movie. Who's the new black kung fu guy? Because we got to Like, okay, do we, do they, if we're gonna have so black counterpoint. Do they got to be the hero because they black? Well, he has to be the only black person in there. I want you to be the hero. I want you to be the villain. I want you to be the villain. <laughs> my, thing is, my, thing is, my thing is, like, you ain't got to, like, you can be taking villains like this. It got to be Paris and never come right. back. Like, he ain't got to die. <laughs> right. Like, he's I don't want just, people be, I don't want, I don't want. just learn a lesson. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you can have a villain who get, like, he get taken away. He ain't got to die. Like, he can just be on, you don't have to be on their they revenge and they, some, by the end, you can try to be somebody like, oh, so he's so like, I don't want to. Like, I don't want to. Do it no well, more. Killmonger died. That's a bad. That's a bad example. I mean, but I mean, where, so, where you can kind of reason with him. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's why I said like, understand. It's and fine. the story idea though it pretty much was it was like so they all were like organizations. It was almost was like uh what's the Netflix show where all the brands had they fighter for them. Um, Baki was that one. Baki kind of. Baki kind of did it. They did kind of yeah, have brands. They, like, had, they had they people they that they were fighting yeah, for each yeah, other, yeah, right. but it didn't say sense. So that's why. Yeah, they they had like they. So this that's what I'm saying, like, Jackie Chan would be somebody that yeah, you know would have more stunt work. I'm, that's what I'm saying, like, Jackie Chan would be somebody that you would see him have a fight, but Jackie Chan would have to have somebody that's, like, more of an apprentice. Mm-hmm. That's somebody a little bit younger so we can get a lot more of the actual but action, see, action. To this point, then we can, get a, uh, we can get a no-name. Uh, uh, nah, you, 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 but see, you, no, that's, you, start, you start the new wave of black action stars. And see, But see, that's why I'm saying, I'm like, that. the way... That. But that's why I said the twist is... Because that is cold, though. Because the twist would be if you really saw all these people fighting and then Denzel pops up first, everybody would be like, I know the fuck y'all got Denzel fighting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And Denzel yeah. just kind of be up to like, I see y'all there. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Yeah. you like, bro, I know y'all ain't but got... See, but that is... That's how you give him his moments, though. Because you got to have some random show up like... Yeah, somebody talks to you. ain't got dude fighting. He come and want to fight Denzel. And then he Denzel put the hands to this. Like I said, it's it's a it's an extra. Yeah. But you know, you, he put the hands to him and go, I see y'all at the tournament or whatever it is. And then everybody like, they finna had Denzel fighting at this tournament. Yeah. And at the tournament, it's oh no, I got my guy fighting. It's it, Michael it, Jai it, White. And that's what I said. Like, but that's what I said. Like, so I don't know who it, like Michael Jai White and, and Denzel would be the actual. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Threats, but they won't be the major threat. Like I said, I don't know who it would be. Like someone has to be someone who actually is like uh, attacking the the sport in general. So now it makes everybody like, oh, we got to work together. Yeah. So that's how you get your grand fight where you see all the greats just fighting randoms and just getting there to beat everybody. Because I'm like, the movie, the point of the movie, because these will all be like one on one battles. Like you would never really know who will win against who because yeah, by that point they oh. every battle is supposed to end. So what you really want to see is the most fluid battle of kung fu where everybody's style is just yeah. really beating a bunch of minions and shit up. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like you would, you would get that little bit but of you blood sport. The, the, oh, oh, okay, yeah, okay. So yeah, that's yeah. why I said like well, that's he, said, I, he didn't say blood sport like. Well, you got, when he starts saying the minions, I'm thinking waves. I but I mean, that, that was, but that's what I said. That would be whoever would be she? the big baddie. So if you, even if it was a no name, her wife, his wife is called too. I didn't know he was married. So. I didn't know he was married. Either. Yeah, I didn't know. You. I was gonna say I couldn't even think of the women because this is definitely like the women from uh, Kung Fu Hustle. Oh, there's a couple of them. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, I mean, you bring, like I said, you bring a lot of people into this in different ways. Did like, we ever? Did we ever figure out who was the actor that Michael Jai White beat up? It happened last year. They said you, no. They said it was it was a com- no, it, was, it was a comedian. They said some comedian got drunk and was talking cash shit to Michael Jai White, <laughs> no, and everybody was like, this. out of all the people in Hollywood for you to drunkenly try to fight, Michael Jai White is not the one to do so. I believe it was Brandon T. Jackson because at the you time, you bogus. And no, <laughs> that, no, 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 <laughs> no, it's not random. At the time, Brandon T. T. Jackson was was going crazy, like be like spazzing, like doing so, like, a little, and having a lot of drunk episodes and everything like that, and. It, he was on live at a party. Yeah, I'm trying to kick up yeah. the dust. He's trying to break. Oh, Yaya would be oh, Yaya. Does he do more kung fu though? I know he. I know he's a beast and he's really dope in live, uh, like in action. But he, yeah, he was. They was doing the fights in. Uh, I mean, as I said, and it, really, and that I said it really wouldn't be. You saw like, the first one. He was fighting in that one. And, and that's why I said like that's why I said like Michael. Even if you really wanted to put Denzel, like, Denzel couldn't do it. But you would need if you wanted to put somebody who was doing more close quarter combat, like American fighting, whatever oh, in there. Matrix, you could put it, you could put somebody in the mix because it's just the difference of this is it's just the opposite of expendable. So it's not big yeah. guns. No, this is literally all oh, kind of hands, hands, hands everybody. Yeah. So whether well, you want to, I mean, so whether you want to bring, if Tyson want to button, like if Denzel got Tyson and Michael Jai White, like these my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I'm just insane. Well, you know, like you gotta have the hands, nigga. In there. So like you could put it like you gotta have the. That's what I'm saying because Tony. Jai is like that's pretty much uh y'all cold for Muay watching for watching Aquaman. You saw the first one. So you, I, the you still one. didn't watch the second one? Hell, I'm not, bro. The only way the second one was bad. Listen, unless Ken got it all at the at the uh, at the shop. 
That's the only way I'm watching that shit. <laughs> I mean, Second I'm, was bad, um, so I get it. It was definitely right, bad. Well, shit. We're, 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 okay. Speaking of hands, man, we gotta we got we gotta put a prayer. You know what I'm saying? Prayers up to the Dragon Ball community, man. We have we lost the real one. <laughs> man, this, this was this one was sad. This one was hey, tough, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So with in between podcasts, we uh, Toriyama. The creator of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and a tons of other just different animated and things and properties passed away. Man. And man, you know what I'm saying? And this is like, yo, like for me personally, Dragon Ball holds a small part, uh, uh, not a small part, a big part in my heart about it for anime because I put my whole family onto anime through Dragon Ball as the start. Okay. You know, and so the reason why I've watched Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z specifically so many times, Super and GT, I watched a little bit Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z so many times is because with each kid that I've had, when they got of age, I started off with them saying, okay, let me introduce you to Dragon Ball Z. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? And now, you know, as a family, we're all into anime. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Everybody watching their own animes and everything. Uh, Azaria just started Death Note. Travion's finishing out Attack on Titan. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Sarai, she's trucking through Sailor Moon. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? But it was all started through the means of Dragon, Dragon Ball. Ball. Yeah, You know, to the point that even when uh, I had an artist, I commissioned an artist to do an artwork to conceptualize my kids into Saiyans. Um, you know, one of our moments, you know what I'm saying? Drunk moments. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for those when we was when hey, forgive me, this is gonna be my blurred card taking a chink. I, I know we kind of buried it, but when we first started, we got super drunk on the episode. And just randomly, I don't know why. I was like, hey, is Dragon Ball Z Japanese? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you def- yeah, that was that was <laughs> like a, that was our that was our fucking that was our first blurred yeah. blasphemy. But That's you know, I feel like that was in their first episode. No, that was second episode, mm-hmm. I think. It was. Se- no, it was like, an early episode for sure. The second episode was Halloween. But also... I feel like you said it, though. Mm -hmm. You might have said it. But yeah, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? That So Dragon Ball and Toriyama's influence over the anime community in general is just so large. And so it's like, you know what I'm saying? That one was tough for me. It was it was crazy. I saw it randomly, like, you know, it right after it, the news had broke uh, in one of the discords that I'm in, somebody had just randomly posted like the post. And I was like, what? Yeah. And like, you know, we were playing the game and stuff. Like, we all had stopped. Like, yo, Kurt Toriyama passed and apparently passed like a week ago. And, you know, the family oh. had, you know, the family had held it for a week, essentially. Oh, I didn't know it was a week. Yeah. Okay. So, when, because the post I want to say came out on the 8th, it said on March 1st, a Kurt Toriyama passed. So, like, the family just held oh. on to it. Mm. And I was like, that's one, that's insane that they yeah. were able to hold on to it for a week. But then just you start thinking about, like, yo, what does that like? Like somebody who was there pretty much your entire childhood is gone. Like obviously none of us had never met him, but it's he still had such an impact on everything. Like that was the first anime I watched. And I probably I don't know if I would have got to where I was in anime. Think about the people you meet through all of that. Yeah. If I never would have sat home and watched like yeah. It's it's insane yeah, to I think mean, about. Yeah, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball in general. Like even though he's done so much, I mean, this, the Dragon Quest series and yeah. stuff. Like he's done, but Dragon Ball is pretty much one of those connecting animes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and it's just even when you think about like just the widespread of animes in general, like Dragon Ball is like such a core like mm-hmm. for everybody. Like whether you even if somebody said I never watched it all. Like you've come across Dragon Ball, yeah. If you've ever been in anime in, at at well, some like, point in time, you know what I'm saying? Not even that. Your favorite anime at some point is probably influenced by Dragon Ball. Yeah, you know, yeah if, if Naruto's your favorite, favorite yeah. anime, yeah. congratulations. Your favorite, your your creator was influenced by Dragon Ball. Yeah, I mean, it, like, and it was definitely hard. like I feel like I definitely feel like we like seeing 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 the posts. And everything, you know, seeing them pass is like, it was definitely like, it's just one of those things, like, social media is so quick to really give you, you don't matter what your day going with, yeah. man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like, I, I remember for me, it was like literally opening up my phone on Instagram. And it was like, that was like the first post. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you like, man, what the, wait, what? Like, and it's like, I think, I think it's really, it was really more amazed to me to see how big it was. Yeah, like they really seeing the Olympics. I mean, the Olympics, that, yeah. Bro. But like, I mean, like, the, like, I think you were telling me about the, um, the mafia thing, and I'm like, bro, bro you know what I'm saying? Like, 
<laughs> yeah, like the seat, like I, I knew, like you know how big somebody, which is really crazy because I don't feel like now at this point there really is a more iconic cartoon character. Well, so here uh, I remember, and uh, it was it was in one of the anime after dark. So shout out to them. But somebody was saying like how they're tired of the big three talk, right? And they were saying it was like you know what, right now even with Dragon Ball Z, you can't include them in the big three because they're like the goat. It's like you have. You have certain anime, so they was like the big three is is, is Naruto, Bleach, and who's the, who's the One four? Piece. And One Piece, yeah, Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece, because they're yeah. saying all three of them also has taken influence from the grandfather, which is Dragon Ball. But, Z, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So so and so and when when you look at it in, in that sense, because like somebody said it in the chat. Cartoons even represent yeah. like I, you know what I'm saying. I don't watch. Um, I don't watch. I, I want to say the Amazing. Cartoon Network ac- uh, account. Mm-hmm. Yeah, posted like oh, Thank tsunami you. did for, for that. Might have been, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I know that um, I was watching Amazing World Gumball with uh, my kids, and they yeah, go they do. Saiyan, yeah, right? I mean, they did. There's they so did. Many did a, I think that I think Teen Titans had an episode yeah. one on Super Saiyan. You know like, what I'm saying? saying? You, you, you all parents had an episode you, where it was like some. They they had like a channel crash episode. One of the channels was like. Full on, you could tell it was Dragon, Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah, bro. And then, like, so you know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy that you know, it's it's like Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, and the property is kind of like the Simpsons of anime, where like you can find a reference for anything using a clip from them, right? You, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Something there's always something that fits, but it's like even no matter what, because I know that in the latter years, Dragon Ball was getting a whole lot of flack. And you know, I tell people all the time, I say, Look, if you're talking story. Yes, I'm not going to say Dragon Ball is up there, Dragon Ball Z or anything is up there in the story. But if you're talking action and like that, that type of reaction you get when you're watching a sports, you know what I'm saying, game, whether it is football, basketball, or anything, Dragon Ball gives you that. Because no matter how much shit people talk about it, every time a new Dragon Ball something comes out, everybody's running to go see it because it's like, all right, well, I know that at least like, like I'm going to get a, you know, at least I'm going to get a fight. fight. I, mean, I, mean, I don't understand why people like uh, Dragon Ball has never gave you like hype. Dragon Ball is literally like a very hyper. Well, the story of Dragon Ball was. Amazing. Yeah, the story like the but yeah. when they got in the Z, that yeah. just became a hyper violent soap opera. Yeah. Like yeah. it really like if you All think about the, the if you think, yeah, like it's but it's really about over the top emotion and just really like it was really like that's why it's like you really watch Dragon Ball Z and on. And they, even when they figured it out too, they were like, you know what, we just gonna let them fight. Like it's mm-hmm. really like it's better to draw these fights, bring random characters in who's invading and just over you know, over dramatize. Everything and, so. it, and it had us, bro. It had us captivated because you know, we used to be googling Super Saiyan 58 Dog. just to see how yeah. far feel, the think, hair go back. The yeah. was on Shovel High, and it was talking, <laughs> matter of fact, I bet I can find it very yeah. quickly. The but, Super Saiyan 100, bro. We used, no, somebody, we used to go crazy. Yeah, just I remember the first dumb. time I had googled that, it was me and Stro. Oh, um, because Stro don't actually put me on a Dragon Ball, so like, but after I had watched, you know, we was all deep, we used to be, we used to go to each other's crib and we'd just be googling. Super Saiyan whatever. Right. That we Googled <laughs> Super Saiyan 100. Like I said, I bet I could find the exact image. I remember my dog I can't wait for this to be animated. <laughs> this man is so fake. <laughs> really thought they were going to go to 100. Not even realizing, like, like, fam, this is so fake. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what's hilarious? So, you know, yesterday was my cousin Keyshawn's birthday. Man, happy birthday to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? He had just got out, right? So, you know, that's my cousin that I've been talking about where I'm learning more about him because I didn't know he fucked with anime as heavy as he do, right? And this is what's crazy. So we talking, you know what I'm saying, before his birthday party, we chopping it up. I'm telling him about some other animes to watch. And I'll tell him, I'll say, bro, I didn't even know you fuck with anime like that. Like, he was like, yo, bro, Dragon Ball Z, my shit. He's like, I'll be out in the streets and I'll be doing something. He said, when I get in, you know, whatever the case, I'm telling everybody, yo, shut the fuck up. I don't care what anybody's doing. <laughs> Turn on Dragon Ball Z because my shit is on, right? Right. And I yeah. said, bro, let me show you this clip. And I showed him the, the trailer because that's exactly what oh, Shane yeah. Jackson Jr. said. Oh, and I yeah, said, yeah. bro, that is so crazy. But this <laughs> this picture, I just, as you go back to it, yeah. I know y'all can't see yeah, it. Yeah, but that's so crazy. And then Dragon Ball Z, yeah, Super Saiyan. <laughs> Super <laughs> Saiyan 100 goes crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Dog. But, but, but yeah, so you know what I'm saying? It. And Dragon Ball Z also was the ushering in the, the, middle, ha- the middle between us and hood folks, you know what I'm saying? Nerds and hood folks alike. That's what introduced a lot of people to anime. I mean, know? we just, but I mean, but I also come like I think people, I think people actually, especially us as a black culture, we really be like, like not bringing up the fact that we really fucking love kung fu movies as kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Dragon Ball really yeah. was like, nigga, this is a cartoon kung fu movie. Like it's y'all, a, yeah. you're know saying like. Like I grew up on late night kung fu movies. Like there was really oh, it yeah. was that and Saturday morning cards, you know what I'm saying? And your morning cards, those were really the only like things of life that I was like as a kid yeah. focused on. Like and whatever movie randomly come out that my parents would take me to. Like yeah. but so 
even when Dragon Ball Z finally kind of like hit the scene, yeah, like there wasn't like there still really wasn't nothing but kung fu movies. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So like I said, when like to me, Dragon Ball, like even the, the, the original Dragon Ball really is that cold because that, that's why that story's so cold. Oh yeah, because so, it literally I, was a martial was, arts cartoon. Was so insane you know what I'm about the original Dragon Ball, and it, it, it might have been different from like the people that y'all age. So many people my age. We Dragon Ball Z was already out by the time we you know we were watching yeah. stuff. So, so like we were coming home after school, starting on Dragon Ball Z. We thought the story started with Goku meeting Raditz and all that. Oh. So I, I, I swear it probably was midway through the Frieza saga. It like probably right after Goku and Super Saiyan, somebody was like, "Hey, but you see, the, you see the original." And I'm like, what you mean? <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what you mean? Like, what you mean? Like, like, I'm not watching Kai. I'm watching regular Dragon Ball Z. Like, what you that, that, that about? Yeah, I see the Z. So we go, we go, you know, we we go back. I remember I used to go to Model Zone. Model Zone used to get all the imports. Oh, I remember Model Zone, yeah. So like, we went there off a of humbug. Didn't even think like, oh, maybe I should watch an episode to see if I like it. I remember asking my mom and my dad, like, let me get them. It's the entire Dragon Ball set. <laughs> So fire, and it's just it was so crazy, bro. Because it was so different. So in yeah. our area, so this is what's funny. So I don't know it, uh when I interviewed Rob Markman. So you know he's from he out of New York. You yeah, know what I'm saying. And so you know they got the, they get the imports. That you know what I'm saying. He was saying like how he was saying how like anime still at. So this is uh, this is around our era. He was like anime was still so brand new that you like you couldn't find the DVDs. You had to know somebody who had the DVDs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. So he was saying like, yeah, he had to take two trains because his guy lived next to this one small ass shop that was like in between the alley of like a fucking. It was like a bridge and a train, and then it was like you had to go in and go. He was like, it was so secret. But when you walked in, it was literally like Lost World of Wonders. But he was like, because of that, he said that's how he got into anime. And it was I feel like that's how Models on yeah. was like. Yeah, I remember, yeah. I remember the first time we went there. They was like as a know. kid going to my yeah you definitely like oh, what the fuck? <laughs> like, like, and, like and then I remember even like I said I when I thought everything was done so I got into Dragon Ball Super so late because I just remember one day you know at that time everybody was on the internet was doing mods and they was doing just like different yeah you get Super stuff. Saiyan five so, yeah. so I thought Dragon Ball F was yeah. coming. Because I, like, hey. I, I remember they used to call Dragon Ball AF was coming. I was like, yeah, it's Dragon Ball After Future. And I'm like, I don't know what that yeah. means, but let's go. Dragon, Dragon Ball AF. AF. Dragon so, Ball AF is called. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what ended up happening was I saw the clip of Goku Black. And I'm like, dog, somebody's snapping doing this like fan-made animation. And then I looked and I was like, dog, I said, hey, this is... This is really solid for a fan man animation. I looked yeah. at it and I said, oh shit, Dragon Ball been back? So I had to go all the way back and then yeah, I had to rewatch you, like, you, that. You wasn't not... around when Battle of God. No, I, oh. I, I watched all that late. I went back Crazy. and then I watched yeah, it. Yeah, you wild, you got, wild to just pop up to find out about it. I, I remember when Battle because when Battle of Gods came back, I was all oh, Dragon Ball is back. They was calling Beerus Bills at the time. Yeah. So because <laughs> around the time when Goku Black, that saga was happening, was when we first started the the uh the podcast. So remember we was watching when mm. he went to when they was going they was, they was finishing up that that storyline and oh because yeah. I, I was anybody yeah. say like nigga how the fuck are we not no, talking because, about this exactly like on the, we, didn't, we wasn't mm. we wasn't a thing yet a geek said wasn't a thing at this when did wait when did battle Damn, we was battle podcasting when super was running concur- like concurrently because remember, like, remember, remember we watched turn we watched the tournament of the power yeah yeah, I do remember, remember that. yeah y'all did the live y'all did the live battle of god was 2013 yeah Battle of the Gods was 2013. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Bro, we just started the podcast at 17, bro. <laughs> yeah, that means that for sure Resurrection F was... Yeah, he's right. Yeah, so, I, 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 but so I, when I, by the time oh, I started watching it... Four years of Dragon Ball is bananas. And you know what? That, that might have... That might have what made me say, yo, I want to talk about this shit. Because when I got back on it, I was like, oh, I said, nobody <laughs> tell me about this shit. I want to talk about Dragon Ball. Dog, and like somebody said it, um, Blurred in the City, he said he used to love our old episodes when we talked about Dragon Ball heavily. Oh, yeah. But that's because I was. No. You good? I was. I don't, I don't want to make sure we don't misgender somebody this picture. I didn't say he, did I? Yeah. Oh, my fault. Well, Blurred in the City. I didn't, I, 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 was, I just threw it out there. I didn't definitely mean to misgender anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but Blurred in the City said they used to love our old episodes when we talked about Remember it. Remember the clip when we was talking about uh, A-list characters in Dragon Ball? But Cardi was disgusted. Because I said, and I, I'm going to let you know. I still believe it. <laughs> Goku is the only eight character in Dragon Ball. Fam, stop doing that. that no, that's man. Stop doing that. But you um, being child, you actually being childish. Yeah. It's not childish. That's, yeah. that's one of our great clips. First of all, <laughs> great, great clip because you you was disgusted. I was really mad at what you were doing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and then like say, you know, and even toward bro, I ain't gonna hold you. 
Toriyama's last words, I got choked up reading them slides when somebody somebody had posted all his last words and everything like that, bro. Oh, I didn't get that deep into it, fam. fam I no, I, they posted it on Instagram. The so I'm looking at it and I was like, all right, I'm just scroll, oh. scroll, the scroll. And I'm just that, like, uh, ooh, bro. The tributes that Oda, the uh, creator of uh, One Piece and uh, Kishimoto of Naruto, their statements, mm -hmm. yo. Oh, I did read one. Yeah, I did. I mean, you gotta think. You gotta think. That's even. That's even. That hurts even more. Like you. Like I'm in the medium. I've been. I've been writing and just looking at you and just like like Bam. for it, my it was... my whole life. Like we grew up just watching it. Yeah. But like this, they niggas been in the trenches with dude. Like they yeah. have met him probably they on numerous. Met, like they, no, you know what I'm saying? I like, think it was Kishimoto who was like, "Fam, the day that you called me friend is the day I never forget." Bro. Man, and like, I was yeah. like, oh, 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 like, like geez. <laughs> And you know what I'm saying? And you know, and here's the this here. I know it's a battle against AI, but the one AI post that I saw that I'm like, all right, that was the the, the funeral. I can't ask. I, oh, I, 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 I didn't look at that. I couldn't. I didn't. I didn't look at that. I couldn't. But I was like, yo, I was like, like it just it was the artist should. Somebody no, I wish. I artists. wish. I, I, listen, I, I I'm not. I hope an artist somebody does take that concept and does it because. Having oh, the, the funeral pictures? Yeah, having the Dragon Ball characters at the funeral and everything like that. It's just, you know, it was just a dope image. I enjoyed what everybody did on, on Xenoverse, uh, like all the Gokus. That was cold. That was oh, cold. Yeah, that was yeah, cold. Yeah. Like, I was, like, yeah, I was mad I didn't get the memo. I like, I got Xenoverse. Like, I got Xenoverse. Yeah, I, I didn't get on there. I went and loaded it up afterwards. I didn't do it like that. I was on Xenoverse that weekend. I don't know what I saw, but I went and grabbed this. Oh, I know you got to. I went out this and gave it his head, you know what I'm saying? Got the, got the young Goku on there. I'm saying like, got the trunks on future trunks on the back. You know what I'm saying? Holding it down. So, hey, go get your got all the characters on the side. It's, well, they got a whole bunch. Of, you can do that. There's it's seven of them. We might have to resell that box. <laughs> resell that box is crazy. You want to get what's in there out of there, fam. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're right. Stuff. The super manga is hitting right oh, now. Yeah, the I manga is wait. hitting like I crazy. I haven't, watch, yeah, I haven't watched the manga. No, oh, I haven't read the manga. Great. Bro, the manga been cooking. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? I've been, uh, I can't wait. I can't say been because they they, re, they redid Superhero and I was, that was a rough, that well, was a rough year. I, well, that didn't, that didn't run for a year, did it? Yes, it did. That, I swear that ran for like a year. The, the retelling like of Superhero. Okay, maybe it did. That, that oh, was, as far as the manga, oh. yeah, but it, overall, yeah, the manga because all the other all the other chapters were yeah. great. I think they just needed to get to. I think they just needed to make sure that they can get that story. Are we um, inside the manga? So are we? I mean, as far as like, I mean, with Toriyama's story and everything, like, are we? Do they, have they made? I mean, I figured they're not gonna talk about that kind of stuff now, but I mean, was he already ahead on a lot of a lot well, of the stuff? I, I know that he was a part of the the kid. Yeah, so one. he was. What's that one? Oh, Daima. But Daima. he also was working. Like, I think I I don't know for sure if he handpicked, but. Him and the guy who's doing the manga right now, Toya Toro, they work very closely. Like, so fam, he can, so he fam can still, said, like, I got the job of a lifetime because I met you. So he can like, still, so he can still, still carry on the torch. Yeah, for sure. If, yeah, and, and, and I'm sure and they probably talked about. Yeah, I'm sure they probably been talking about, so. yeah, sure they about like this is where I think the story is going. Like, because like I said, they work very closely on the manga, especially. Mm -hmm. Uh, like the last couple of years, I think that's so, great. Because I mean, he got they they just, they finna drop that Sandland mm -hmm. when he owned yeah. the video game that from yeah, when we his can video even game talk about his video game Man, like, like, yeah. like bro, he like you said he bro the, some of the most epic fighting games. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Like I said, we listen. Me and Ditch have been on here for for uh, since the podcast inception, talking about how this one mobile game. That's one. That's the one. Still mobile, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. that's, that's the one mobile game that I will never de de delete. Is like and during pastime, I just hop on. You yep. know what I'm saying? Pull a couple of cards. All I don't know if you yeah. saw the leaks. There's. Gohan ain't only fighting Goku. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't gonna say too much. Yeah. I, I don't know the story, but I yeah. saw some leaks already. Yeah, bro, it's, bro, it's going crazy right now. But we didn't talk about our favorite moments. And I wanted to get that from y'all. Like, what are some of y'all favorite moments from either Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Super, just in general? Favorite I mean, moments? it's I mean, there's so many. I know it's so many. Yeah, like, it's let's easy for me, some out there. I, I, I thought about it a lot. It's when Gohan went Super Saiyan 2. Because not only was that a, a dope moment, Gohan is still my favorite character. But the way that the narrator ended that episode, where mm. he was talking about Gohan's power, and then he ended it by saying that Cell was going to fight a warrior 11 years in the making. I was 11 at that time. So I was in that bitch. Let's go. Yeah, fuck Cell. We're going to kick his ass. So like, that moment sticks with me forever. Yeah, that was a solid moment. That was a solid moment. I ain't going to hold you. So like, most recently, like I said, bro, that Dragon Ball Super Vegeta uh, or Vegeta, as Stephen A. Smith calls don't him. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> don't get him. Don't get that. Don't get that energy, bro. I, I want you to know. I want you to know. I never got through that video. The first time I heard him say it, I said, <laughs> <laughs> "But um, that speech Vegeta gave to fucking top 
because you already know I hate that nigga top. And bro, that speech that Vegeta they gave. They dropped the ball by putting top in English. They could they could have kept it topo. Like, uh, right. uh, but that speech to Vegeta because you got to remember the way like we had we heard that speech slightly when he was Majin Vegeta, right? Right. But when you that moment where they were top was talking about great power and trying to be you know saying the guy and everything like that, and Vegeta told him like, bro, like nigga, like bro. The disgust that he had when the top said, "Yeah, I gave away everything to get this power." But yeah. Gina was like, "Nigga, I got a family, bro. Stuff. Like, bro, what does you want?" Like, and I felt that today. I was like, "Yo, that like you, you saw his story come full circle." Like, yeah. this was the person that was here to destroy the planet, and now he's one of the biggest defenders, and he hold that shit dear and dear. Yeah, he got. I, I got baby mama. He like, you ain't seen my baby mama, nigga. Like, <laughs> right. You know what saying? Like, hey, I ain't hey, going hey, nowhere. Hey, you know what I'm hey. saying? So right. you know, what I'm saying that this, was one of my this ones for sure. Fire moment. Oh yeah, the, the slide, slide man, 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 man. Yeah. yeah. That was, yeah, that, that's always the, be. The, the teleportation command man away was used to be my first one, but now the slider one is my favorite. The teleportation one was crazy. The, 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 yeah. the teleportation was it was a shocker. Like, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like the slide, the slide was just like you going crazy now, dude. But, <laughs> the slide was cold yeah. because they showed it in like eight angles. Yeah. Yeah. The, the slide was it was meant to be like you see what the fuck the this nigga doing, and that was the, that's when they up animation yeah. so, so it was so smooth. Dog. Like the, the slide was meant to be like you gonna replay this. Yeah. Like, you gonna, we gonna run this back. You didn't even have to because they replayed yeah. it. Like, yeah, because I was like, they knew it was cold. They did it. Was whoever idea that was. Yeah. When they animated, it was like, bro, this was perfect. You know what I mean? like, it was probably the animator. The animator probably submitted this. Like, hey, you might want to rewind that. Yeah. <laughs> look, I got some more angles though. Like, what you about to say? Your part? Uh, my, I mean, mine, mine in general, honestly, was is uh, well, my favorite favorite is 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 the actual Frieza saga. Like oh, the yeah. whole Frieza, the Frieza saga, saga, the birth of the first, you know, like yeah. seeing Goku first go Super Saiyan. It's like so that to me, to me, even coming from watching Dragon Ball, like that, to see that as the next level oh, in yeah. Z to be like, whoa, whoa, they can do this, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, they can do this now, like you said, yeah. like so, like, and that probably was one of the first shows as kids that kept us like, oh, we got to like, you know how like, like, yeah, like, because that reveal took so many episodes. So as kids, we, every weekend, like, no, when is it going? Oh, shit, like, oh! And, and, you gotta, like I said, even if the Freedom Saga in general, because I feel like if you, for me as a kid, where I wasn't even a kid then, I was probably a teenager, but I was really still wrapped up in it. You know what I'm saying? So like even that the saga in general, like Frieza was really like when he got rid of Krillin, you like, bro, what the fuck is yeah. dog? Like you like, yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah. like, like yeah. when the English one out with pop goes the lead. Like Frieza was so was scared. Bro, Frieza was, 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 like, was a monster. Frieza was a monster. And you guys know what I'm saying? Like to go, like I think people even understand that 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 uh development because Dragon Ball was all people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then until so Pic like Piccolo, stuff like, and, and like robots and everything, but until yeah. Piccolo came, it was literally just like mainly like this nigga just fighting people and robots yeah, yeah. and an army and all that. So Piccolo was really the birth of like, oh, we finna start bringing niggas to the earth. Yeah, it was like we finna start. This is like an alien type yeah. thing. Yeah, Yo. you know what I'm saying? Because then you start Z with him being cool with Piccolo, and yeah. it's like, well, we gotta bring more aliens, nigga. So we gotta bring like, yeah. so it was like that. Like so, like going from Dragon Ball to a story where it's like. Bro, what the fuck is going on now? Like, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? Like, you like this thing, like, you didn't know, you have to even the, the radisson, but like, you didn't even, like, you like, bro, wait, what? Yeah. Is more, is more of these things? Like, bro, a hey, sleeper moment too, though. Sleeper moment, probably, probably be when, when Goku first came in the Saiyan saga to save them. When they was waiting for Goku. Oh, oh yeah. Up, the drama, yeah. Napa, because yeah. he packed up Napa <laughs> so <laughs> quickly, bro. This but Goku stood on the nigga. Hey, uh, Goku, Goku was the first nigga to do that. Because you got first thing, he stood on that nigga head. Yeah, bro. First thing he stood on Because remember the beginning of the Namek saga when he finally got oh, yeah. to Namek yeah. and Gohan, Gohan, and Vegeta all was getting ass yeah. kicked by the Ginyu Force. But he made them. Bro, and this, how, this is how epic you knew it was. Vegeta, who was against Goku at that time, soon as Goku came, he was like, "Ha, ah, Frieza!" Hey, this nigga though. <laughs> hey, this that's, nigga hey, fucking beat your that's, ass. That's probably one of the funniest <laughs> things that we don't realize now. Like this, the, like the actual like the energy we give so many niggas is because we grew up waiting for Goku to come. Like y'all yeah. niggas really ain't. We wait for Goku. Oh, right. Right. Like until was. we got Somebody older, tweeted. we were like, "Go, when the Vegeta gonna get a win?" Like I forgot who it was. Somebody tweeted it years ago, and they was like, "A lot of early Dragon Ball." Was you might beat me, but hey, wait till my nigga go. Wait till my nigga go. Niggas dying 
breath would be like, I need this with Goku. You know, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas was y'all, like, y'all not ready for my nigga they Goku. Whole, they, whole, they whole mission was we buying time for Goku. You're just buying time. Do. Like, whether niggas he, had to cut the dragon ball. Snake way, whether he coming, he, he coming from uh, being in, in the, uh, the the hyperbolic time chamber, whether he's in the uh, the, the, the the pod to get it in. Like, we just wait we just for waiting. Goku to show up. And, they, and, they was, and it, it made it so, that's why I say it was such a hyper dramatization because it was like, you would have had us close to where he just still sleeping or something like Goku's on the way. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the, like, the, 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 narrator, the narrator used to sell like it. Hey, 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 bro, next time on Dragon Ball. Like, Ball. like Dragon Ball is like Japanese Telemundo, bro. Like <laughs> truly, bro. Truly Japanese Telemundo, bro. <laughs> Like, like even yeah. the slap, you think about the beard slap that got Telemundo, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, but see, the, the, the evolution of Vegeta's character, though, is one of my favorite evolutions in general. Because even shout I, out to Boma, yeah, shout out to Boma. I love the fact that Vegeta and I love Vegeta's and Goku's relationship because Goku respects Vegeta, like, oh no, you are a formidable opponent. And even yeah. though he, he's gotten the best of Vegeta multiple times, he's still be like, I ain't I ain't letting this nigga slide. I already know like, as soon as I slip up, he he got me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Vegeta, no matter what, he'll give him his props every now and then, but it's it's still like that big brother, little brother, like, all right, yeah, you cold, but I still beat your ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I'ma still beat your ass. I mean, I, 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 they they had never fight each other because I feel like I think they already both know. Like even if you was making it real, like they both know that the only way they really get me to kill you, bro, is you got to really kill somebody. Oh, yeah. Like you have to go to that far because we can spar forever, we and I'm never, yeah. gonna you, I'm never gonna go hundred on you because no, I'm not trying to kill you. Well, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they they can't. I feel like them two is the one two people. They're like we can still go one hundred, and we know we ain't gonna kill each other because they be they be going hard. They, Which be, is they crazy. be destroying so many planets. Goku hasn't. True, that is true. I yep, that is true. That is that that's that's that asterisk that technically he had he hasn't. It's been a lot of draws. It's been a oh, lot yeah. of yeah. And then, yeah. And then Vegeta did get him one. Then he yeah, he just won the last one or whatever, didn't they? Yeah, at the end of superhero. Oh yeah, he did get that one. So technically so, Vegeta. So Vegeta, yeah, Vegeta. Technically Vegeta. And I up, and I always, I always feel like I think Vegeta is always supposed to win. But I mean, I feel like Vegeta even like he fights him with that irritation too. Like you not taking me seriously, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's what like, it is. Cause remember when he found out Goku could go Super Saiyan three, he was like, "We just fought that was supposed to be our full power." Yeah. What the hell is this? Because Vegeta, because that thing, Vegeta ain't gonna back down. He's like, "I don't care. Look, I don't care if you can go Super Saiyan Titan. Go that so I can figure <laughs> out if I can go that." <laughs> that's, 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 that's all it be. be. That's <laughs> all it be. That's all he want, bro. Like, that's so, what yeah, says, yeah. I, and so I think, I think it, because you got thinking, you got somebody who's really like more happy go lucky, laughing in your face, where you like, just take this shit seriously, bro. <laughs> right. I'm trying to get better. You know? yeah. <laughs> Like, because like, so we just gotta think, bro. Remember when they first started fusion? Vegeta used to be all against it. Now Vegeta's like, bro, if you're not gonna take this serious, I ain't trying to fuse with you, bro. Right? Because we gotta go fuse. Gotta, like, shit, <laughs> like, I still like, and I and I think I do actually like when you. I mean, I mean, I guess the race that they got. Like I said, if you go from how if you go from the beginning of Dragon Ball, how much they hate each other, whatever, all Goku was on to like when they, I had just watched the clip when they were fighting Gold Frieza. And how they was going back and forth, like, bro, when is it my like, them yeah. niggas got the squad in, like, yeah. bro, it is my turn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like this nigga was literally like, bro, what you did then when Go got his ass, be like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's your, it's yeah. your turn. It's your turn. I fucked up. Like, I'm fucked up. <laughs> like, man. So yeah, man. Like I said, Dragon Ball, man. Like I said, man, RB Toriyama, man. That yeah. was a really, really tough one. But you know, your work and your influence is gonna forever live on. Yes. From, from us for sure, man. Thank you for everything that you've given us, man. And you know, thank you for uh, those who uh, who are going to carry that torch and everything that they're going to give us yeah. in regard f from your creations. Right? Yeah, uh, we also lost another goat man. So I know for me, this is something that I was like, damn man. But uh, Janice Burgess, the creator of the Backyardigans, yeah, this um, one was super sad. That too. one was super sad because you know she had a show that she didn't get the flowers that she should have gotten. Because so this was a show that I watched Travion. I watched the majority with Travion when he was kids, right? And so and mm -hmm. it was one of those shows, and you know, as a parent, and Doug, you probably know as a parent where it's a kid's show, and then you watching it, and you're like, all right, this is a kid's show. But after a while, you're like, hey yo, this show kind of <laughs> this show kind of <laughs> kind of fired, huh? like, you know what I'm saying? And so I remember watching the show, and so what I like about the show is the makeup of the show, right? So these characters, these kids, clearly kids of color. Like right. One of the characters yeah. that was unique was yeah, Pablo, Tasha. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it, these are you definitely kids of color, right? And each episode had three songs, three custom songs based off, and pretty much they're going in their backyard and going to adventures. But what got me one 
the songs were slapping like a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> like there was this one song that was in the they was in the desert, and he was talking about like, oh, you know what I'm saying? We gotta ride the range. And then the motherfucker came on and it was like right in the range, right? And I was like, yo, I said, hey, they gotta slap it up. Like it was like the, they was dropping bars. And then one song, like they had they, they were bring in some of our top stars. So this is when Alicia Keys was at the height of her R and B career. You okay. know what I'm saying? So she was in there voicing the character, singing a song. And I'm just like, yo, this show is so fucking dope. It's a, it's informative. Um, it's fun. We got a lot of dope songs. And you know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, oh, oh, and it, um, and so when I'm when when that when I was watching that show, I just know that like that was something that introduced Travion into music and stuff like that. And it was it was just so dope. You yeah, yeah, saying? yeah. And I always championed it, and then they got canceled by Nickelodeon. But I was like, damn, I hope, you know what I'm saying, it get re-picked up because there's a show that can still go on. I hope somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to always just randomly talk it out, throw it out there. I wanted to interview her so bad. I just could never get in contact with her. And, you know what I'm saying, so when I saw that her passing happened as well, I was just like, damn, man. You yeah, know that's what tough. That's definitely tough. It was tough. a tough one. And, you know, this is a black lady, black creation, you know, on Nickelodeon at that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I think she got, like that, yeah. How many seasons she got? I think she got, what, three or four seasons? But it was just like, you know, it was one of those shows that this is one of those shows that I feel like if you if you got if you got kids, go back and watch it. I guarantee you it's a good watch. Yeah, she had four seasons, four seasons for yep. it. I guarantee you it's a good watch. I guarantee you that your kids is going to like it. Um, and as as adults, you're going to find something in that you're going to be like, whoa, hey, this is kind of fire. I I'd actually, I obviously, I never watched. That. I didn't have any kids or anything, but it, it felt like the precursor to like the stuff, like the Gracie's Corner stuff that you hear. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. just knowing yeah. of that show, and you like you, you'll see clips and of it and everything. Mm-hmm. And then after it went after it went off the air, I feel like years later you you got stuff like I said, like Gracie's Corner, and even Snoop. Yeah, I know like he has it. like his home. He has his own child child care. Or I guess not child care, but you know, child oriented shows where it's like you know they're, it's all music themed. Oh yeah, like um, you said, like yeah, backyard is kind of definitely yeah, still, yeah. Like that, it's like that hip hop ish name, and you 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 can definitely see where the influence was. Yeah, like she catapulted, she definitely catapulted. Like I I like I, Imani, I know watched a lot of it when she was younger. Um, same thing though, like I said, you usually it'd be the song, or the, <laughs> like you like you walking like what the heck are you listening to? <laughs> like what you watching? You know what I'm saying? Like. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like it definitely like, and I mean, when, coming from anybody who grew up as kids, it's like we didn't have that. So no. it's like, so that was definitely like, even as a parent, you're like, this is new. Yeah. Like this is what y'all listen. Like this is like, well, the, you know, what I'm saying? Yeah. like, and like, like, like Lucy said, you knew immediately that, like, even before knowing that it was a black woman who made it. Yeah. You you heard like Unique and Tyrone. When I heard, heard both yeah. them, obviously <laughs> when Trey Kendall would come over and I was still living with my parents, he'd come over, he'd be watching it there. And I hear like, oh yeah, you need cool Tyrone. I'm like, black kids, like, <laughs> like these for sure. Yeah, man. Like you know what I'm saying. And you know, and again, like I said, their stories was always, you know, it was all about friendship. But it was just like just dope stories about kids. You know, you know, yeah. how we, we all have, you know, had that moment. That friend, if you didn't have a backyard, you had a friend who had a backyard, right? Right. Or that, and, right yeah. And y'all go on adventures in that motherfucking backyard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We all out in the world. So you know, what I'm saying, I just always wanted to make sure, you know, I show love to her as well because that was another past that happened in regards to that. So. No, yeah, definitely RIP to her. Yeah, uh, thank, Also thank her yeah. for the legacy that she left that mm-hmm. I think is still going to hold on forever. Yeah, and I hope, like I said, she. I hope it gets a resurgence. I hope, you mm-hmm. know, people start going back watching it like, yo, you know, especially the new kid. I, like, I hope somebody do a TikTok like, hey, did y'all ever watch this show called oh, The yeah, somebody, again? yeah. And then it gets this whole thing and everything like that. Hey, if y'all, if you watch it and you a TikToker and you want to get some content in, watch The Backyard again. So do, some, do some stuff on it, man. Right. Um. So, I mean, I guess, you know, uh, on a lighter note, but also Marvel, we got some things that they we got some more Marvel some, rumors. Some rumors, yeah. So rumors is is that Eternals is slated for cancellation, and Ant Man four is it, is it four? Yeah, Ant Man four. Ant Man four. But they're saying they're doing something. I didn't know they were even doing another Eternals. Yeah. yeah. So well, yeah. Is, so yeah. this all is coming from a scooper. I forgot yeah. his name. Um, but essentially, the idea is that Marvel and Disney as a whole. Are focusing more on the guarantees, pretty much. Yeah, like the guaranteed hits. Like they said they're going for the more home run stuff, and they, they're focusing on what I think he said. Think of one of his tweets. He said, "There's prestige." Okay. So, um, basically, what that would mean is that the idea is that uh, Eternals two would be canceled, uh, Ant Man four, Captain Marvel three. Because they don't; those are more riskier properties. I than actually really eyes. enjoy. I was gonna say that too. I just watched Marvels. I actually really enjoyed. Man, it. Marvels. I Marvels enjoyed. Is dope. I enjoyed it a lot. But I yeah. can. I mean, I know why. But uh, from a uh, from from a standpoint, I guess of if let's Box say office, these rumors are yeah. to be true, you got to remember the first Captain Marvel made a billion. 
The second one, probably, I think it ended around three, four hundred million. They're probably saying that's a risk. We just lost a six hundred dollar drop, six hundred million dollar drop from our first movie to our sequel. Do we? Do we really? But that happens. It does. It does. But this is also this is what happens when you have business people directing creative choices. Yeah. They're not looking at, well, what did we do creatively? What did we do to make this a success? They're just looking at, well, the numbers say this. It's got to go. The numbers say this about Ant-Man. It's got to go. The numbers say this about Eternals. got to go. Which, without the, um, and, and for me, I'm just like, damn, bro, because out of all of them, at most, I want the Eternals to keep on going because they left so much, so much questions in the air with the Celestials. Remember the way it was: half of, the, half of the people, half of the team got kidnapped by the Celestials. Half of the team is going to try to find where the people who got kidnapped, and there's still a whole statue in the middle of the water. But they're gonna cancel. I feel like you should have started it. writing on the wall with the Eternals when it's been. I think Eternals came out 2016, 20 whatever. We there's talked been no reference. zero about it. Yeah, since. there's been no reference to but it. See, but, but no, but remember, I, I've been on I've been on record saying I'm not expecting for the resolve to happen soon. I'm saying that I was but like, see, that's the problem with. But I think that's also the problem with yeah. a I, extended just, universe. Like, just on, like because of how 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 blanketed the Eternals movie was, it can be placed whenever. Like I feel like right now it's like they. I feel like you just got to still set up set up more to get Eternals back in there. In the mix, if there's any reason to put them back in there. Because even with Ant Man, it's like you might be like, yeah, yeah it should have been a show. It, it, that's what I was gonna say. Like it could have been a... too long. Oh yeah, I would have been good with a show. It, it should have been a show. Either even or. the first one should have been. Like if we're being honest, yeah. they were talking I'm, thousand I'm year history. Yeah, like like yeah, like they could have literally did Eternals like it was Game of Thrones. They definitely could have. You know what I'm saying? It really just started I, from I the beginning of time. It had nothing to do with what's going on right now because it's just like literally we're talking about past stuff, whatever. It could have. It could have really been. A, and that's why I said like that's why I said because they the movie was so. Like blank space, you could just be like, all right, well, we're just gonna just continue that as a show. Like, we never, yeah. like, or, but right now, but it, it's not attached it to cool. nothing where it's like you don't need it at all. So, so let's, so now that we know what the rumors is, how real do you think this is? I mean, I believe Ant Man can be canceled because you can just put Ant Man to somewhere else. Like, you, I think you, it's about, it's about putting, making a whole movie again about Ant-Man. Like, I don't feel like there's another story necessary to have Ant-Man for. They mentioned it in the way, and I'm sorry, I'm just going to this comment. They mentioned it in, in mentioned, I should say, by showing I it know, yeah. and, uh, on, on uh, a web page. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, that's that's hey, not a mention. Hey, we got a mention of Wolverine, and we was, we was excited about that. Well, we, we can't, we can't, we can't downplay one, and then I, I also, don't, I also don't think that that's a mention. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not, those are just Easter eggs. They could. That's just something. You <laughs> yeah, like. I mean, I would look at that. Like the the mention, the eternal mention. I felt really was Easter egg because, it's like, I know y'all have been asking about it. Yeah, that's what I felt. The world it was like because I felt. Well, we I, felt, I, felt, I, felt too. I felt when we saw it in She Hulk, that was the consensus that everybody was on the internet already saying, like, bro, y'all not gonna talk about the fucking. And, and so they showed the picture. The so you yeah. know, what I'm saying it makes sense for them to yeah. say that. So that. So I don't. So I don't. I still don't feel like that had anything <laughs> so to do. So do you? So do you believe that really they canceled, or maybe we pivoting on how the story is going to get told? So. I think I think there's more truth to the rumor than a lot of people believe because there's also been I, I, there's also another rumor where I think it was a Marvel producer he was talking about how the way that they do things sort of recently has been we throw out a bunch of ideas they might not all get made we just sort of like they have like brainstorming sessions she but might. I feel like once it, once it once it passes into movie realm, then you gotta gotta go. You gotta finish the job. <laughs> Dude, I mean, they scrap, I mean we, they, there's they no scrap, yeah. There's no pre-production. There's <laughs> no. So then why they start they, it? They film a whole movie and scrap it still, fam. Like, I, know, I mean, we, we've seen we've seen evidence of it. Most of the I time. know that, but I just feel like if you are, if you are making that statement saying, "Yeah, we throw stuff and then we go with it," once you start it, then go with it, finish it. But did, did they start it? That's the thing. They and they had this trilogy. Yeah, that's why I said Ant Man could be done. Like well, I don't know what. Done. I just I want to remember. I want Ant Man to die at, you know, on I, three, I, I, so he could be done. Um, and you got to figure Captain Marvel. Yeah, she only had two. Where that ended? Yes, there there needs to be a resolution, but not necessarily Ooh. with her. For which one? For Captain Marvel. So she, you need to see Monica again, kind of. Well, see, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting another Captain Marvel or Marvels. I was just expecting the story to move on. Like, so here's the thing: there's certain. And this is what I'm. This is what I'm hoping. Like with the with the Marvels and Captain Marvel, granted she has way more stories to tell. But in the grand scheme of story that we're getting, she doesn't need another story. But she can still be heavily inputted into what we're happening with the future of the MCU. Where so to be you fair, know what I'm saying? Kind of like on a on a, a kind of like okay, let's say if 
after Iron Man 3, we didn't get any more Iron Mans, but Iron Man was so prevalent in so many movies afterwards that it still felt it didn't feel like we missed Iron Man. We can do the same thing with, that's, with but that's not what the former said. The no, 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 said no. That their movie no, I don't. I'm talking about moving forward. What I, what I, what we can see, and what we could potentially happen. Because I'm like, okay, if you're just capping out on their movies, then then for the Marvels, I'm okay with Ant Man. I'm okay with Sue because remember, I wanted him to die in three. The only ones that I'm really like, <laughs> the only ones that I'm really like, oh, damn, I want another at least the way focus they on about them lives is Eternals. Here. Eternals. So, I'm gonna be honest. I think I if, want I, that I, Eternals is the one I feel like I'm the most certain is gone. I know it's yeah, gone. I mean, I, I, it, I, that, 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 that one, one feels about. gone because it's already like from y'all. Yeah. Didn't, y'all don't need. Y'all, y'all don't need it. With like I said, Ant Man, Ant Man, Ant Man just need to go back to being a supporting character. Like, bro, you never like yeah, in, in, in the world's eyes, either. you're not some main character. You really didn't need a trilogy. You're saying to kind of guide the mark, like you are a supporting character, so you can yeah. live on and just go back to being somebody that you know. What I'm saying yeah. that's how they treat him anyway. Like, that's what I said. They gave these three movies, but when he's with everybody else, he like y'all ain't called me or y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like he can literally just go back to that. You know what I'm saying? Like so, mm-hmm. I want to pull up this comment because I think I it's worth one addressing, and I think the lay of the land is different from that than this. Boat is right. Thor, Iron Man, Cap. Those weren't the A list heroes at the time of no. those movies. But the difference of now and then is Marvel couldn't use their A-list heroes. Oh yeah, that's that's the difference. So they had they had to and use. Technically, they still can. For the most part, they kind of can. I mean, they can. or still they it's still tied up because you think if you think main okay, you got Spider Man, most likely Wolverine, most likely uh, who else is a, a big A-list? The Hulk, and all three of them are tied up in so much bullshit Spider- right now. Or uh, not Spider Man, but uh, Spider Man is, but uh. Hulk is too. That's why Hulk, Hulk is kind of, but Wolver- or X Men and Wolverine, that's there. But they, they have that. Wait, they, but they still got a, a couple of years before they can say, well, "Now we're doing X Men." That that's what rumors say. We don't know that. I mean, I mean they're not moving. I mean, that, I mean, well, no, that's why they're doing. That's why I think that's could be why they're doing Deadpool Wolverine. They're getting their yeah, finishing Deadpool, mask. Because I actually feel like, like I oh, said, yeah, that's going to move it to because even yeah. with the Marvel, like, like I said, like, I agree. Like Captain Marvel, pretty much can just. She can just be. She's really like Tony Stark. Like yeah, I feel like how they treat her in Marvel, where he was, where he checked, Nick yeah. checked on her. Like she can really just be wherever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we already pretty much know that uh, Miss Marvel's pretty much going to kick off the ground with the girls and the yeah. young Avengers. Look, I, I, I do still want to see Miss Marvel and yeah, Monica around, but that's for sure. what I'm saying. But, I, but Monica, like I said, like the, the way they ended with it with Monica, she literally, she literally, she should be in Deadpool. Cause she's literally, she she's be, literally she in. She should be the first person to X Men. Like she's yeah. no, yeah, because that's how it ended. Like she's literally there in the, like she like yeah. she went through a like so she went through mm-hmm. in the dimension. So the same fact that Deadpool's finding Wolverine, he should literally like she has to play some kind of mm-hmm. part in helping him in Deadpool. Like no, and I think no one's actually thought about that because Monica would be the complete tie-in, literally to like, all right, now we know yep. because she's she's in the we're in the. Uh, Universe word. Yeah, you know what I'm but I, I think it's the point. They're going to look at, well, what did that last movie do versus, like I said, I think, obviously, Monica probably still going to be around. Miss Marvel be, should she. be. Yeah, they both um, going to take her out. Nah. I can't, I, I really can't imagine Eternals. I think, I, I think Carol will be around, probably just not leaving her own movie, but they're going to focus on stuff that really made the money the last time, because they're like, well, if it made money last time, it probably will this time. So Shang-Chi is probably coming back, which it needs to be. But still, then that. But then, then we get we get back into the the age old question that we've been asking: Who the fuck is the villain? Who who is the big bad? I mean, that's that's damn that's, dog. That's the that's question. Just really, that really just cr- that's the, the fuck fuck is that's the bad? question. Like, like, like you said, Thor and everybody going. Who the fuck is actually the hero? <laughs> but well, that's the thing. They're good. They're you well, have you hey, have to get time. DC World. They said like, hey, this new Avengers ain't hitting like they hit, bro. Like, <laughs> like I ain't scared of nobody in the new Avengers who right is now. The new dog. heroes, bro. Like. <laughs> That's why like I, you said, the, I feel like they need to go full X-Men. Let the X-Men have they, shine, man. They, yeah, no, that's the thing. That, that's what I was saying. Like, that's why I could see them taking out those three films, keeping picking the characters they want to keep, because now you got this whole thing of X-Men coming. We know we know Fantastic Four is coming. We know all we can of get these, a new Avengers. Yeah, that's what, you, you can get a new team. Spider-Man. Reed Richards. Spider-Man is probably still around. Yeah. We'll, yeah, see what Tom, still around. we'll see what Tom Holland wants to do. Mm. But Spider-Man at least is probably still around. So you got that... Th- Hulk, sure, he doesn't have his own thing, but he's there. They have, mm-hmm. they can, they can play around in their sandbox of their A-list heroes now. Yeah. Maybe not in a way that they would like to, but a hell of a lot better than they could in 08 when they had to focus on Iron Man, Captain. All right. and- so now I got to ask: Who would you want five, five new, five characters? Who would you want your your five new Avengers to be? 
I'm gonna be honest. I don't need another Avengers film. Focus on the X Men. That, this is the question I asked. But can we have a question? I mean, I really. I mean, I don't I, want another. I feel like you. I feel like for one, I don't think we would get the. We wouldn't get an Avengers film anyway. To like, like you said, Fantastic Four come out, X Men come out. Because all of them, Avengers Five, to be honest, huh? I don't think they pushed it back. They no. haven't said. I think the date is still set. It's not King Dynasty anymore, but it's still what was the Avengers date for? Five. It was twenty six. Twenty six. That's it. Let me I mean, see. that's still enough time. That's still enough time. But who would y'all want? I so, mean, I mean, I would just really want. So, I, so, I, so why y'all think? Because I already got mine. I already okay, got. I would, want, go. I would want Wolverine. I would want Reed Richards to be the leader because you know Wolverine definitely cannot be the fucking leader. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm okay with them bringing in Storm. You know, what I'm saying not necessarily X Men Storm because I hope that when they get into the Storm storyline, it's more Wakanda based. So you know, what I'm saying bringing her into in, into that fold in regards to that. Um, if we if they can fix Hulk, Storm from Wakanda. That's that. See, that's that's the, that's that's a. That's like, a, I'm, no, I'm like, I'm like, why is it more, like why you want to be more Wakanda? That's what threw me off. She's the queen. Her and the child she, had a whole marriage. They did get married. Yeah. Oh, so you talking about you wanted to be that far ahead, like like her or like? I mean, we, if we wreck on it, we wreck on it. Okay, so you wanted to, uh, that makes more sense. I don't know. I knew they were together. But I was like, I didn't know you meant like you wanted a storm story to really start from like where. Well, I don't know if it's gonna start. Yeah, like, like, even though they got married, I don't know if she was born in what kind of. I think that's what Cardi is saying. I'm like, wait, what? Like, I think oh, that's what Cardi is saying. I don't. I don't by, yeah. the time, by, the, by the time, by the time they get to the next Avengers, her story could have been told many folds. Okay. By the time they get there, um, um, we still need a Hulk. I'm hoping that like yeah, I'm still holding out hopes that mm-hmm. they're gonna retcon and fix Hulk. Parts of that. <laughs> Jamie wants them to recast Hulk. That was so funny. Uh, was, I forgot. I what mean, podcast we, I mean, Hulk can be like we was doing yeah. what we want to see from the MCU or the podcast, and we talking about recast. Yeah, and we were sort of cast. We were supposed to be casting new character. Mm-hmm. She threw the Hulk on there, like, yeah, no, just recast him. We was. I dying. mean, they have to. Here's the thing: I can't see because of how they did Hulk. I cannot see Mark Ruffalo as Incredible Hulk anymore. I cannot see him as Rage for He's incredible. never done it though. Well, when he first came, when you know what I'm saying, he was. No, like, the, is they gonna do yeah. something with that nigga storyline? His son coming back? No, that shit. Bro, was no, 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 no. <laughs> get rid of that shit. Ah, get no. rid of that. But shit. having his kid, that's not related to World War Hulk. Nah, get rid of that you, shit. You don't want World War Hulk? Not the no, no, not yet. They really could. They really could use his kid as a kid. Like they could. They could use his kid as like that's 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 if you look at how that scar, you not looking at that scar from she and being like, oh yeah. He about to be the beast. That's called it. Like that's called like he be like, "Hey, bro, you want to go surfing, yeah. bro? Hey, bro, let's go surfing, bro." Like, I yeah. mean, he, I mean, he, he was. I mean, no, he was. It, it was a. It was a rough design. He's right. He's right. right. It's a rough design. <laughs> I mean, like, he can come back better than ever. Like, what if, what if, what if he? What if that's how he showed. He just. I don't know. Fucking. He. No, he, he being they, in disguise. Then they don't care. Yeah. Y'all don't care. Oh uh, yeah, and then so yeah, and then you know, bring his Captain spot, America. Yeah. You just. You just want the. The team back, like Captain, you America, got Captain America and Thor, and he's just like, hey, bring them back. Bring them yeah. back. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm saying, y'all, y'all definitely forget. Cause I'm like, say, y'all definitely threw them niggas away. <laughs> Falcon and Winter Soldier, I, like, I, them I niggas said, are actually like part I of the said, main team. Like, I said, it was a I said what I said. All right, like, this year. You, <laughs> talk about, you, know, you don't want, you don't want, I mean, he's the black superhero. Like, this nigga can't even leave. Richard got it. Richard got I'll it. To be honest, I, 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 Stormy run it. I'll let Storm run it. No, you said Reed first. Don't, I don't, said don't Reed. try, don't try yeah. to don't don't say <laughs> if, if we had to get a black person. Listen here. If we had to get a black person, I, just, I'll trust Shuri over her black cap. I'll trust Storm <laughs> over black cap. Black cap. Oh. <laughs> where <laughs> is this hatred coming from? Can he just be like, cat? where is this hatred? Like, he just did his own show. They called a nigga like I the black captain. They did that. He went through this already. Hey, okay, I, I, I could call him Nigga Bird, like how Cap called him. You want me to call him Bird? You wanted to? No, I Nigga Bird. I do think. Uh, I, I do think you need like Cap's gonna be there. Cap, Cap will be there. Why do we gotta keep on having Cap focus? Why? I didn't say he was a leader. I said Cap is going to be but there. Why does he have to be there? He's not in every. Uh, he's not he's in every not, direction of the Avengers. But why this is, you, why but is, this this is tra- Falcon Cap, though? But why does a Captain America even oh, have said, Can I get my full team? Yeah, I, I, I don't even think he got his team. Yeah. Sure. He got his team. No, I, I, got, I got it on four. Finish your fifth. No, no that's good. <laughs> you would, <know. laughs> uh, I do think Cap will be there. Shuri is the uh, Black Panther. She'll be there. <laughs> It'll be interesting. I don't know. If, I don't know if Vision will be there. Because I, I don't know where his story ended. 
He gone. He like I don't know. I don't know where White Vision is at. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of Swipe, <laughs> I don't know where White Vision. We were Vision just talking is. about you, Swipe. Oh yeah, when uh, Hulk will still hey, be around. Hold on, before we start, hey. We about to hit a hundred live viewers in a minute, bro. We ain't never been this high. We on ninety six. Y'all going crazy? I need y'all to get four more crazy. people to, buy, to, to, to to tap in so we can hit this hundo because that'll be I, an epic benchmark for Geek Set right yeah, now. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. y'all. No, uh, like I said, Cat Black Panther, um, Hulk obviously still around. Um, you probably get in Kate Bishop. <sighs> you you actually she might be Young Avengers. You throwing darts? I'm not. I'm think. I'm thinking of who they got around Shang Chi. Shang-Chi's, Shang-Chi's definitely going to be a part so of this. My, yeah. Yeah, my fifth one was somebody that's not necessarily in yet, but I was hoping that they do. But if they could, I was hoping like if they can get to Agent Venom, that would be who I wanted to be on my fifth Avenger. No, man, Venom is the last dance. Get that out of here. <laughs> Don't stop. Yeah. Venom, the Venom, the last dance is done. Get, get that out of here. Last. You don't want to stop the, no, you don't want to stop the yard, Venom? No. Stomp the one? yard, Venom, bro. No, let me see y'all, oh, bro. Dang it, I, I got to send it to you. Stomp the dish. yard, Venom, bro. Oh, uh, I got to send it to you. Send it to me and I'll throw it up. But no. Logic did it. Uh, I don't Shout know. out to that nigga Boss Logic, bro. I'm God. so glad this Venom is the last Venom movie. <laughs> you don't like Venom? This don't like nobody, bro. The first Venom was, the first Venom was okay. The second Venom was ass. If you don't like Venom, the oh, second minute, Venom no. was ass. Wait, well, I gotta send you all of these. Hey, like, hey, you know, know. hey, wait a minute. <laughs> you want to email it? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, just DM it to me. DM it to me because yo, he did a whole bunch. He didn't stop the yard. But he no, did, he did you, you not about to act like the second Venom movie was flames. It was decent. I liked it, decent? bro. I liked it. This man was up there at a rave going like this, dog. It was it not. It took me back to my Ninja Turtle days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, you don't remember it. You, know, you, know, you know, that's what it was. You didn't want to. You don't want to. <laughs> I don't remember it. it was, I enjoyed it back then, but I don't need. That Venom movie was bad. Twitter DM? Yeah, just Twitter DM. Yeah. Um, all right, Bacardi, who, who would you want? Um, For the Avengers? Yeah. Because we talk, okay. Can we talk when they got to face? They facing the high. You don't level need threat. to watch those Venom movies. So you I, good. I need Spider. I will say Spider Man. So Spider Man, I do want Hulk in there. I actually do want, but I don't even actually need. I want Hulk to be Hulk, but I prefer just Bruce too. I be, I, I actually be happy with Bruce. Bruce. Um, um. To be truthfully honest with you, fam, I need Strange in there. Strange had to come back. Strange, Strange had to come back. So the only reason why I didn't have him in the, uh, in the dark dimension right now, and, that's the and I need, I need, I need him, him to brain that fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> if if we talk about Avengers, they like this is that kind of threat. We're right. Strange at. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, I share. need Strange in there. All right, so Ditch is gonna share. Shout out to Boss Logic, man. That's my dog, bro. He about to share all these these variant Look uh, at us. covers. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll start with this. This is the Stomp the Yard one. Man, <laughs> what is wrong with you, dog? Like, this is, this is so this, you don't want you don't want Venom stomps the yard? No, nah, man, this is terrible. Why you didn't like that Venom? <laughs> that Venom. Then we 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 go to the next one. Look at my Venom steps up. <laughs> Y'all want the Venom steps nah. up? <laughs> Crap. So uh, what you want him to do with Venom, fam? You, you that's can't. not MCU, so we don't need it. Then we go to the third one. <laughs> that's a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot, bro. <laughs> I didn't know Boss Logic did all I'm this, say, bro. I'm going to save that one for last, because that, that's the actual name of the movie. Yep. Uh, then we got Venom Got Served. <laughs> <laughs> I just want Venom time traveling to all these ever areas. <laughs> <And then, laughs> crazy. All this, because he did a little dance number, man. Well, no, because that's the last movie, and here's the title of it. Also, and this obviously ain't the cover, but it's called Venom The Last Dance. Yeah, so... That- <laughs> so <laughs> man, I can't stand you off, man. Man, man, okay, Boss Logic is one of my favorite creators, bro. I was out, bro. Man. I didn't get to finish, man. Hold on. Yeah, what I, said, I said Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man Strange. I didn't hear you say Hulk, but you yeah, might have yeah. Spider Man like, Strange Hulk. Um, I do want, I do want, I actually want Falcon as, I think, I, I want Falcon me. as my. I want Falcon as my watch. Oh, shit, let's go. Appreciate Falcon's y'all. Falcon's my leader. I need to give Sam his chance. He, I, I'm not mad at it. So I'm Falcon, not mad. Yes, you are. Yeah, no, you is. No. no. Yeah, you my is. list, I'm <laughs> mad at it. For Bacardi's list, I'm not mad at it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I, I'm not mad at it for Bacardi's pick because of what I know how okay. Bacardi felt about 
You know, like, what I'm uh, he got a black got, cap. Yeah, I mean, he that's got. A a, Cardi came a long way by picking him as his leader. That man hated that show. He hated uh, the chance I hated his chance trap. That's the no, only thing he, he hated. Also didn't no, like I didn't like the show though too. He didn't like the show because he was really. He didn't like the speech. I didn't like. He didn't like the bank loans. So this is this is only chance. I'm gonna give you a chance. I'm gonna give you a chance because the niggas forgetting about you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna forget about you. I ain't gonna forget about you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you a chance. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, okay, but yeah. So, and then my and then my fifth would probably be. Dang, no Shang Chi. To be truthfully honest, and I just hate the. I'm trying to think about the actual like what they would be fighting in threat. I don't know who the villains gonna be. And that's what I'm saying that's, that's because the it really would be between Shang Chi or Moon Knight. But I only, but I don't like the Moon Knight show. But the Moon Knight character, this I a would, valid statement. I, I don't want that. Moon Knight to be. I, I I want Moon Knight to be a separate entity. I don't need him to be yeah, part I don't need, of my Avengers. I don't need Moon Knight to show up in the Avengers. I, I'm beyond honest. I also forgot like about my, Moon like, Knight. Yeah, like my thing. I just I would rather. I don't want it to be really the Avengers like a movie, but I would just love a movie where it's like if we are gonna have X Men and Fantastic Four coming, how do we just put them in a movie where they are fighting a threat together? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't need like I rather instead of having Avengers where you're picking from all these movies, just take the two movies that already got groups of niggas and put them. But then but that's that. That go. But no, you, that's you, go you gotta to call them a collective because you can't be like X Men and the Fantastic Four versus the such as so like that'd be such a long ass title. You gotta you gotta put them into a group. So if it's not the Avengers, then you gotta be one of the other factions. I mean, like if they do the X Men, what was X Men versus Avengers or whatever they did. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I can see that, but I mean, we wouldn't, I think the thing of it, like, even if they call X-Men versus Avengers, we wouldn't actually get who the Avengers are to the end of that movie. But it would be, it would be X-Men against, I, I like, do. Fantastic Four, and they're meeting Spider-Man, and they're, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it would be that whole battle of everybody, because then at the end of that movie, you would get who the bigger threat is, and now it's like, well, we got to combine together. Yeah, you know Bo, Bo made a very good point. We do need to keep the Avengers strong. It, it, it would be very wild to just scrap it <laughs> with Cap got his side. <laughs> so you're right. You're right. Yeah. You know, I... I retract my earlier statement. We know nobody care about him. <laughs> Don't nobody care. Well, Sam, I'm still here well, for you, fam. Oh, the, 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 the latest suit they showed, the, the latest suit design looked yeah. fire. Here's they, the also, they do. They made a new suit for him. It was. I think it might have been concept. Here's, here's, but here's what they got to stop doing. And I think the reason why people was like. I'm not here for Black Cap or that just having just Why a little. Why you gotta call him, that? bro? Let me call him Black Cap, dog. Jeez. Why you just can't call him Cap? Cause he Black Cap. But um, the reason why is the that all fucking people. Well, so here's the reason why. <laughs> the reason why I'm calling him Black Cap is they focusing too much on his blackness instead of just making him be just Captain America. If they wouldn't have did that and just had him fighting villains and just being a, a superhero and not focus on his blackness. Then he's just a superhero. I mean, but that's gonna be black. And but because they forced it in me, now I'm calling him Black Cap. You don't supposed to be part of it. I get, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, but you must be supposed to be trying to break that. We trying to break. To be that. honest, I didn't feel like they forced it. His part of his, they they showed. I think they just showed. Look, this is what's gonna fucking happen to Bro, a black every superhero. episode. First episode, he couldn't get alone. Second episode, he met the black captain. He's like, oh man, they didn't even care about us because third, third that's what's going. That's, that's fucking <laughs> real life. I know <laughs> it is, but it was only a six episode series, and half of the show was about him fighting being black. It was no, my, 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 not my thing. Not my what thing is, is though. Here? And no, I don't book, need that in my superhero stuff. My, my oh, thing, my thing is being a superhero. My oh. thing in comic, in comic book relation though, th did that happen to him when he became? Because he like the Falcon really did become Captain America at they, one point, they, and they were walling in the comics. That's what Did they do it in the comic books too? Yes. Okay. That's what, it's just it's real life. When I'm not saying I'm not saying it's it. not real life. What just, I'm saying is I'm watching the MCU for disbelief of oh, the real world. Like, you I just want to like watch this. You sounded like no, these people. I mean, but I, no, no, but no, 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 no. I told you that's I told you that's why I didn't like it though because I said no, no, I said because no, even like I always said even with the women characters right I'm like the women characters that I resonate the most with is the ones where it's like. Yes, it's all about their femininity, but that's not the main thing about their makeup, right? It's like, okay, yes, I'm a strong ass superhero. I'm kicking ass. I'm holding, you know what I'm saying? I'm going crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's not everything that I do is girl power. And I don't want everything that Captain America's facing up against is I'm doing this because I'm doing it for the black, the advancement of black people. I mean, as long and as what I but like, I my thing is, so I think I think the only way that you can make sure, as long as the villains. Don't come at this nigga sideways. Like I don't need the next villain. That, oh, well, that the villain didn't come at him sideways. But I'm saying, like, when, when we get yeah. to the next movie or whatever, if somebody be like, "Wait, you Captain America?" <laughs> like, <laughs> but if one villain do that, I'm gonna be salty about it. You know what I'm saying? I think so. I think while I was okay with it, because this was that show was this is how he becomes comfortable with the shield. Yeah, y'all. We had to give him essentially an origin story. No, because his origin at that time was I don't feel like I'm worthy enough. Not but, I don't feel like I'm worthy because I'm black. But the thing is, 
to what Bo is saying. They had a give up the shield campaign. That, that's that's literally a part of his origin of becoming comfortable being Captain America. You have he had to not only fight his internal worthiness, he had to fight people telling him you are not yeah. worthy because you black. But, I mean, so that's wait, what was, was that was that was wait, was that what they said in the MCU? Because they said they were. I thought it was just because he wasn't a super soldier. No, they. John John what wasn't John Williams? I don't think that was his name. The uh the, oh, the, 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 the original Cap. The original Sabana. See now you more disrespectful. <laughs> you called him Reject Cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the other, what is the dude named? The US Agent. Oh, oh him. I thought you were talking about John Bradley. No. Who are you talking about? Which you talking about US Agent. Oh, US, US Agent, Agent dude. That's Reject John Cap. Walker. I don't know John Walker. Thank you. John Walker. I, know some... I thought you were talking about the black <laughs> dude. I, was like, yeah, I, I thought you was. I thought you was too. Like oh, y'all niggas, is. y'all niggas beside yourself. Oh, y'all niggas really beside uh, yourself. You know, he wasn't a super soldier at the time when they when they gave him the shield. Remember, he took it mid season because he got his ass kicked by the uh, Dora Milaje. Well, but that was whole that was a whole nefarious. But no, campaign. But that's what I'm saying. But it wasn't they, race. I don't remember they, race being in that show. They said he fit the image of Captain America. I mean, the, yeah. The, I mean, the dark. What's saying them? They they definitely look to do like white devil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A, the reason why they the, 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 the our government wanted him, they he fit the image, image of Captain America. America. Yeah, mm. which so that was, yeah, that's I mean, race. That's really my race. Okay, I mean, like, like, yeah, the show like, that makes like, sense. my thing was like, I like I thought like the only thing I didn't need, like I said, like and we always talk about this, and why I didn't like the show was the bank loan because it was like yeah. it wasn't about it was I could I could understand that they were trying to use the dynamic that, that moment. Was that, was that his guy? Yeah. Huh? I didn't know this guy had a name, like an actual superhero name. Who? Bro, it's a superhero movie. So John Walker guy was just another military No, man. he was not. He was, he was, he was, a, that's a whole character, bro. Who is that? What you I'm saying in the, the show. The black guy that was his, his, oh, his sidekick. Oh, dude? Yeah, his sidekick. I didn't know his sidekick had a name in the show. I forgot that completely. I, for, I don't think they can, I don't think he gave the name yes, in the show. Yes, they did. Did he, did they he get a name? his name in the show. I'm about to look. Oh, I remember you. <laughs> but I'm like, uh, but I knew, yeah, I knew his sidekick name. I didn't, I just didn't know if they actually referred to him in the, in the show. Yes, they did. But no, I was like, because, like I said, because the bank loan was actually to really show that superheroes don't make no money. Yeah. And that, but that's what made yeah. it mad, but they used him yeah. to be the one. Because it's he like, was the lead of the show. no. Because <laughs> you, that moment of needing a loan for anything could have, Hawkeye could have did that. <laughs> Hawkeye, like, I got to, I got to put some shit on the farm. Mm-hmm. Need to go get a loan. We could have saw that in Wanda Hawkeye. Wanda did it before she before she made her her. And she could have been like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna buy a plot of land, and they're like, nah, you can't get it. Like, fuck it, then I'm gonna take it. I'm just gonna <laughs> take it. Like, it could have been done, yeah. but they had to really put they had to really put famine in strife. And mm-hmm. I was like, and then like I said, and then they used the black person to call him. It was that scene. I told you it was that scene and the police scene. That was only two reasons. <laughs> those were not. Those wasn't necessary. Yeah. Like those. Everything else. Like even you know uh, Bradley kind of talking to the, you know said all that. I was like, I can deal with that. Even even fam coming back home with the cookout, yeah. I can deal with that energy. Oh yeah, the cookout. We, I mean, cookout. No matter what, I'm never mad at. But the like, I think thing. the cop is the one that called him. The white cop is the one that called him Black Captain America. I think he did. He did. And, and said, "Is he bothering you?" He like, bro, what y'all he doing? Did. Like, um, so that was yeah. I, that's the only reason why I can fuck with those. Well, Marvel got it. Like I said, they they shaking shit up. Yeah, but at the end of the day, Marvel, they basically uh, Marvel told shaking us, shit up. Marvel yeah. doing a lot. <laughs> yeah, they definitely Marvel like nigga Kang fucked up all that shit for real, bro. A uh, random question. So I was listening to Kev talk, and he was asked. He had asked this question on the timeline. I wanted to ask y'all. Um, <laughs> Why didn't we see that? <laughs> I wanted to ask y'all. Um, how many what? episodes do you give he a did, show? For sure. He he he's not wrong. Yeah. he for sure did. But you didn't we watch didn't it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that you was... didn't finish the series. Bucky Smash. Oh, I know what y'all talking. Okay, now I get it. Uh, <laughs> no. I forgot. I'm like, wait, wait, what? Like, I remember now. Okay. Anime specifically. How many episodes do you give a show before you drop it? I feel like we talked about this before. I'm going to be honest. I said three, but then I thought about when we watched Blood Sea. We gave that a lot of episodes. We did. I mean, we I mean, we did that for a show. So I think that's really... <laughs> all right, I think fair. That, I, think that was a, I think that was a fair, like, we pushing through. Okay, it. Yeah. fair, fair. But it's all, it always is three. I feel like by three, you should know the plot of the show. Mm-hmm. Like if it's a, three, or, three or four. Because some shows, three is like that. It's ramping up. And then four is like that. Oh, this is this is where everything comes to a head. Now you kind of know what you're getting into for the season. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, so for, like as I said, by three, by three, you should know that when I started the fourth episode, we are actually in the story now. Like, we are yeah. like, mm-hmm. we are in the shit of it. So like, that's what I'm saying. By three, in the three, you like, all right, am I interested in this story now? Word like, in the city is harsh too. 
I saw somebody on I saw somebody on Twitter said one. Like I, I mean, need to know immediately if I'm in or not. But I mean, in the in the average of in the average of animes, and we're talking about even in a sense because we're talking about like something you haven't watched before, right? So the most like yeah. if you talk about the first season of a first of a new anime you watch, is the average going to be about twelve episodes, yeah. ten to twelve episodes. Mm -hmm. So even in there, even in the grand scheme of them, they got to give you this story pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So they like by by third episode, you should know the so story. I, if you I, went to the fifth, sixth episode. So well, see, I'm the, so I'm the, so I, I I I feel like I'm definitely the anomaly here because I got I I got a one season rule for everything. Oh, hell no, nigga! What if it's only one season? I, then I give it that season. I'm, and you I'm just watching watch the trash for the season. I watch. I, I, I oh. have to finish because you know, for me also, I'll have a burning desire of like, how, I wonder how that ended, even if it's bad. I'm like, I wonder how the fuck that ended, and it'll, it'll bother me. I do you one better. It could be a show I watched the first season of. If the second season by the third episode is trash, I might be like, I, I'm done. Don't do me. Don't I'm talk done. to me. I feel like you give me the eyeball. Like, then the flag was about to kiss the hair, boy. Don't do me. Because uh, that was the completion the, of this moment. Like, you know what? I gave you the one. Huh? The Promise Neverland. Yeah, promise, promise Neverland. Promise, first season was great. Pro pro Second season, second season third got me episode, too. <laughs> third season. episode, I'm like, this might be it. This might be a wash, y'all. Second this season got me it. too. Second this season got me it. too. Yeah, I'll truck through it. I'll be upset. I'll be trucking through it. I'll be very, very critical of it. Like, uh, I think the only, the only, there's only one series that I gave up completely, and that is Trash Ass Goblin Slayer. Fuck that show. That show, well, I hate that no boy, Goblin Slayer. You, so, you, don't know, you, don't, you don't know no better. Bro, I watched like at least eight episodes. I said, this, this shit is trash. You don't know, know no better. I wasn't screen. a fan either. You don't, you don't know no better. Shit. Also, I only screen. gave it three episodes. Y'all don't know better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Goblin Slayer trash. God, Goblin Slayer was by third episode. I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be a good <laughs> This is gonna be solid as a bitch. Hey, yeah, it, it started off, I was just kind of like, oh, I'll give it a couple more episodes. And by third episode, I was like, man, y'all some, man. <laughs> it's just goblins, fam. Like, y'all don't really. Y'all don't want to see a nigga fight goblins? That's that's my... I, I, I say this all the time. My issue is I didn't give a fuck about the main character. All I cared about was kill the goblins. And I said, this is trash. I don't want to just see... I'm like, I want to at least be invested in somebody. I mean, I was. I, am invested. I don't know how you can't be invested. Because I was always I was, like, bro, these goblins did something to this nigga life. And that's that's going to come out. <laughs> that's going to come out at some point. Because it's like... Ain't nobody gonna just be killing goblins, bro. Like, what happened to you? Nah, you know what I'm saying? I didn't like that. Found out he had, his, found out he got a sister, so it's like it's getting, it's getting in there. You know what I'm saying? I think it was. I feel like it was a really. I think it was a really good strategic show. Strategic dungeon crawler. Uh, clearly, people. Cause yeah, people fuck with it. For sure. it it's been a couple people. It's I very, grew to like it's crazy. See, How many yeah. episodes did you give it before you liked it? I'm curious. See, that's, that's the thing. This is one of the animes that, that people got to tell you. I don't know. Just get to episode such and such, and then it get good. It's hey, like hey, I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna let that run. But a lot of people say that about One Piece, man. I never said that about One Piece. I feel like you said give it the first season. No, I never said. I said I love. I liked it. Uh, I said if you give it and you watch it, you like it. I said that my favorite arc is the Sky Pia arc, but they don't know. A lot of people say that about JoJo's. Like JoJo's is a good. People JoJo's. say that about JoJo. JoJo is definitely that like because JoJo is really is like JoJo is because it took me a while and I still ain't finished all JoJo, but JoJo was like I gotta finish by finish third the, uh, season. Ocean. I was like. It is about bizarre adventures because this shit is all over. <laughs> like it's really all like it's all over the place. It's like this shit all over the place, bro. Like this shit be all. Hey, I wonder what can you say that about like other shows? Like, ooh, Dragon Ball. Hey, this season it is super. <laughs> like, 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 cause I mean, I mean, well, even when you think like, about the oh, first man, season, of JoJo, you know like how over the top it got. It like, wait, bro, this nigga hit like right now. <laughs> Like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure really is a bizarre. It's like it I said when you it is, 100%. if they go to Family Lines, you'd be like, "Wait, what the? Wait, what the fuck is this?" Like, so I, see, I, I guess that's also the first season of JoJo's was fine to me. I, I didn't think it was. Fine. I love the first season of JoJo's. I like, I know but like I said, by the time I got it. to third season, I was mm -hmm. like. Okay, y'all just doing mm -hmm. every season. Really, just be all like y'all just. just yeah. I will give you that. Yeah, second season, I started. I'm like. Hey yo! <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, like, yo. like it was definitely like I think what is it, like six seasons I think now. Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think so. I only I haven't. I think I got through the third. I haven't got yeah. to. Oh, I so haven't you haven't got to the Jodeci season. No, maybe I did start watching that. <laughs> you call it in the Jodeci season. It is Jodeci season. Because, <laughs> because I watched the first episode of that season. Cause no, and then it's... the ending came on, and I was like, I know that ain't what I think it is. Bro, I think I did start watching. Because yeah, because which one? Because that ain't Star like Star Ocean is, is the fifth season, ain't it? Star Ocean. I, I don't know numbers. Sure. Uh, the the orders. Well, Star yeah. something. I forgot what it's called. Stone Stone Ocean Stone is the latest Ocean. one. And Star Platinum is another. Star Platinum one, is, is what you're talking about. That's is the probably, fifth. I think that's. 
But no, I think it's a, I think that's a, I think Star Platinum is a, is a stand. It might be. Golden Win is yeah. the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Golden Win is the Jodeci season. <laughs> Jodeci season. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. that's one with Joe Star, ain't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got. I think I did watch that one. I know I stopped at some point, but yeah. yeah. Um, so before we uh, get into our recommendations, we forgot to talk about our anime MKE recap, and I want to give give that moment. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. because uh, anime MKE happened um, about a week and a half ago, and what well, about a week ago? Right, pretty much a week and a half when yeah. this comes yeah. out. This kind of when it comes like, out, yeah, yeah. yeah. passed a lot. Um, and so you know, comic book convention. You know, you already know how we do. You know what I'm saying? I think that. The one thing that I realized, so with us traveling and going to a lot of more bigger cons and everything like that, we still have a lot to do here in Milwaukee, Anime Milwaukee. However, mm-hmm. with the expansion that they're doing downtown and everything, um, I think it's going to be it's, uh, we're we're heading towards that to make this a bigger convention. Yeah. Um, but the cosplayers came out; they showed the fuck out. They came out and yeah, yeah I love yeah, I love the, I love the cosplayers. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm always you know, here for the cosplayers. We got some solid ass photos, and you know what? Here's what I here's what I really like too. Um, we've been doing the photo thing for the past five years, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like people are now looking for it because I was seeing comments on our Facebook of people like, "Oh yeah, you ain't got us last year." I'm seeing people sharing it, like you know, what I'm saying our the the our day one post within day one was at like 180 shares. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, you know what I'm saying. So it's just like you know, you it, it's resonating with people. People are fucking with our gift to the community, which yeah. is those photos. Um, and then you know we got a chance to do um. The, the press like always and everything like that uh and i just want to i want to shout out the two well the, it was three people that we all ended up three of those through. interviews were you know what i'm saying amazing. yeah so we we got to we got to speak with um Bren april mm-hmm. rico rico fajardo Fayardo, probably. Fayardo, maybe. Is it two L? Yep, yep. Oh, and, the J, that's yep, still And AK Archives. So, you know, uh, Brand, she's the voice actress of Historia, Mimosa mm-hmm. from Black Clover. Okay, that's um, the one. A, a slew, I think she did Gone. No, or was, the, uh, was that Erica that did Gone? No, I might have been her. Yeah. The photo dumps all over yep. Instagram. That's yep. up everywhere. Yeah, it's, man, go to, our, go to the Geek Set podcast. Um, Matter of fact, go to our Instagram page or our Twitter page and look at our media or go to the Facebook page. All of them is Geek Set Podcast. You can see it. Uh, Rico was the, the I was my favorite. Well, I don't know. Both of them were solid because Brent gave me personal advice on my acting journey. She talked about her acting journey. She talked about just her love for characters. I asked her because, you know, of course, she plays a lot of sexualized characters. I was like, you know, how does it feel mm. knowing that people, you know, really like going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, she had a great answer. Mm-hmm. Um, the interview will go up this week, so definitely yeah. going to look out for that. But but her answer was like, "Yo, it they're great, but sometimes people go a little too far." Yeah, she is, she is. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Watch the interview; you can see how she how she talks about it. But yeah. it, it was it was a dope interview. Yeah, and Enrico just got super, bro. He yeah, yeah, re- yeah. He's so deep and philosophical, but like he told us an amazing story, and I'll tell it just a, a like a brief overview. But you know, he does the voice of Lemillion as well, and mm-hmm. he was telling us, you know, that episode where Lemillion had to save the girl. I, I forgot her name. What's the the girl character name? But if you watch My Hero Academia, there was a little girl that Lemillion had to save, and he said during that week of recording. He literally had to save a little girl's life. Yeah, and mm, the yeah. story is such a emotional and touching story how and it's just crazy how things line up within the same week of you doing that on a show you do you it, in real, do life. it in real life yeah. and then we learned that he actually does like real life parkour and like he's just like bro like mm, those that interviews the yeah, that's the character's name appreciate it yep the, those though yeah eerie yep those those interviews definitely make sure y'all tap in and and check it out because like i said and um also, you know, just even, you know, during that time in between, me and Bacardi went to Kev's show, Kevin Angel's live show. Oh, yeah. I mean, yep. that was that? Yep. That was between podcasts, for yep. sure. Between yeah. podcasts. And, I, and the only reason I want to talk about it is because you got inspired from that show and then seeing what we can do at Anime MKE is just like, oh, we, yeah. We're definitely going to improve our live show as well. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. I think, I mean, I think, I think a lot of people would love to see our actual podcasts in a live setting with a lot of topics and a lot of mm-hmm. like being, you know, we still, we always bring, our people in for interactions and like if you one of our show, you know part of our show you get to talk to us and be it's part a lot of the of chaotic show. Chaotic energy. Yeah, so I think I think that 
I think that we finally got, even the people who've been watching the show, our podcast now, I think we're finally in a really good groove of what, you know, what people probably like yeah. coming from us, that we can do it live. I think yeah. we definitely could do it live. Yeah. With a, all we need is a band to get that DJ, <laughs> that DJ playing the anime, that anime. We got we to gotta get it like, uh, I don't know if you've seen Chocolate Sundays, the comedy show. Oh, yeah. That's, we got to get it like oh, that. Oh, yeah, no, I ain't see. I know what you're yeah, talking that, about, that, that. whole It's a whole live event and everything. Yes, what, what was your, your anime Milwaukee uh, experience? I, the interviews honestly was best, especially just because we were the sole interviewer both times. Like a lot of times the interviews at Anime Milwaukee are panel style. So, you know, there's a group of people, group of interviewers, and you're going along the line with that. Well, we got lucky this time that for every single one of the interviews that we had, we were the sole press. So it started off obviously very question back and forth. Mm. But it that was only for maybe two or three minutes, and then yeah. it just became, oh, well, now we talking. Well, we, yeah. well, we was talking before. Remember, yeah, we were like, we were like oh shit, we, <laughs> well, we did. We did for the brand one because remember oh, yeah. that one we were talking so much. Deuce is just getting to the interview. I'm like, oh, we starting. Let's I got yeah, it. So yeah. there's like a, there's like a question or two yeah. that we missed because we were literally just talking. I'm getting stuff together. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I think it was. was just so conversational. And I, I loved that because it, it now it didn't feel like we were there for interviews. Yeah. It felt like an extension of what we just normally do. It felt do. like a studio. Yeah. Like, like I said, yeah, that's and what that's, you can and, say. And, like, and, yeah. that's what, and that's, I think, moving forward as we do press, I, how I wonder. Because, you know, usually I'm I'm a mic running it, you know what I'm saying, You're in right. the press rooms. But I think that that's how I'm going to always do ours. Ours is going to be more conversational based. Yeah, if we can, if we can get we it shine. like that, it, was, it was the best. Because then we had points, you know, we were all chiming in with mm-hmm. questions. We were all chiming in, and yeah. they're they're giving their moments um, about just whatever their lives are, and other questions popped up off of that. Where like at one point, especially, and again, you'll see it during the interview, we spent an entire section just talking games. With <laughs> oh yeah, we we like, yeah. it was. It wasn't and the like philosophy again. Yeah, yeah the philosophy. Yeah, just how do you like? How, yeah, shout out to Rico, bro. Like, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he dropped in the book. Yeah. I actually, I can, I'm actually I'm, really excited to read his book. I can't like, wait to see that book. His book seems to be very yeah. video game influenced. And then the smooth ass cosplayer. Yeah, hey, she, right. hey, let's see. As they say, hey, hey low key, she rizzed us up. Is that, is that how they say? <laughs> yeah, she had us. Yo, she had us captivated because she would. Like she was, I forgot the character. It's a pimp's character. Yeah, it's from Hasman Hotel. Yeah, Hasman, yeah. And name. she was cosplaying as that character. And I so, thought she was a. De- I thought she said she was the devil or the well, devil. Well, they're vampires. They're vampires. Yeah. Oh, so okay. she had the vampire teeth thing, so it had kind of impeded her speech. Is it impeded? Am I saying? Yeah. 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 And so, but her speech, the way she did it, because she was talking so low and slow, so I guess, so the teeth don't come out. But it was just so smooth. Yeah. And she had the whole makeup and everything, and it was just. I was just like, yo, she. She yeah, killed she killed it. it. Yeah. She and it was like, and after after <laughs> seeing her. I end up seeing a couple more people in the cosplay as well. I was like, man, you doing okay, like that. yeah, she snapped. Yeah, she <laughs> definitely like, she definitely snapped. You know what I'm like, yeah, man. So, so yeah, so I she had definitely shot her. Like I said, I love, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of cosplayers. So yeah. to know she's been doing for so long and like everything, like the fact, like she's that's hardcore. Mm-hmm. To you know, say like you sewing, you've been putting like. You but you've been putting using three D printers and everything. Oh, yeah. You making every like process. Like so, it's like I I always salute cosplayers who have been taken away. Like I I would love to still get to that point where I really got that kind of time where I'm really really going mm-hmm. crazy. But I never know. I'll probably learn sewing and all that kind of stuff. But it's like the level that everybody puts cosplaying into is phenomenal. Yeah, it man. is. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, man. Make sure y'all look. You know what I'm saying? If you if you're not, uh, there's 112 of y'all watching. I know all of y'all are not subscribed to our channels. Hit subscribe right now because we're going to be dropping those videos and those interviews. And we got a whole lot more content coming. So we definitely would love for y'all to continue to watch that. But let's get into our recommendations and everything like that. So mm. I'm going to give a recommendation. I'll go first. Uh, the first one, I am officially a part of the Sims modded community. So I downloaded Sims. I downloaded a whole bunch Looking of mods and ass. everything like that. Uh, I'm probably I'm, deb- I'm debating on if I'm going to create content on it because uh, there was because there was this one lady on, on the timeline and her Sims be going through drama. I'm talking about love and hip hop style, power style drama. And I said, I want that. You put and so on, I you downloaded. Want that? I hit her. I said, <laughs> give me give me all the mods you got. She told me the mods. I went and downloaded them. And you know what I'm saying? My mods be they, my mods now. Now my Sims they got guns. They be having parties. Uh, I can own a strip club. You know what I'm saying? I, I got, got, got real cool. I got Jordans in it. We can smoke. We can drink. We, bro, so I was like, you should. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. So oh, I'm about to go. Oh crazy. my god! I'm, I'm part of the mod community a, now. Bro, that's a lie. <laughs> that I, I, is I, a I, lie, dog. I am really curious. So I'm part of the Sims. Niggas out here making they all can read the green. I love it. 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 I love
love it. I love I'm, it. I might though. tap into my nigga Ace Bay and hit him up like, hey, give me some tips because I might do some voiceover. You know what, uh, what I'm saying? Get your voiceover yeah. game, man, fam. <laughs> hey, pretty much, bro. Because here's the thing. With the GTA one, I don't know if my computer is powerful enough to run GTA. Maybe it can. I don't know. Mike can. But I don't know if it can run the GTA oh, online. The GTA Otherwise, R- I would have did the GTA An mod. RP community. Yeah, I would have did that mod. But the Sims one was an easy one to jump into. I literally just Definitely turned the Sims into the GTA. Yeah, of course. Yeah, y'all know I love my hood shit because I, I'm trying to run a drug uh, empire and shit like that. So, that's you know what I'm saying? Insane. So, that's where I'm at. And then, uh, I mean, this is, like I said, I haven't been doing much anything new or watching anything new besides, like I said, I'm watching solo leveling. So, of course, I'm just going to big that up again. No, no, no. I take it back. Invincible is back. And oh, yeah, it is. my God. I haven't finished the last, like the second, you know, it's in the second half now, but. Did you, yeah. did you watch this first episode of the second half? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I thought they just said they released all of them. So they no, only they released, released the first episode. No, okay. right. And they went crazy on that. I forgot how much I love this series. The I forgot half is good. how beastie the show is. And they, they immediately hit you with some, oh, shit. Like, yeah. yeah, so Invincible. Catch I'm sorry to you. Yeah, Invincible's been a good show to review. Yeah. To review. I feel like this season would have been such a goaded season had they not went on the break. That's I'm gonna say that's what killed a lot because we watched we we've only seen first we only seen the first episodes of it yeah but we're gonna actually finish it out this week yeah. but it was the first episode we were watching it was just like I had to spend half that episode like damn so wait what happened again right. what happened again so it was like it was tough with that but yeah um yeah. it's definitely worth watching it's reading I don't I, I've only read up to bro it's worth it, it, it's worth it both because and I'll tell you this the reading is even more nefarious yeah, oh I was my say, god I'm, I'm I'm a little further where this season where it's looking like this season's gonna end and it gets crazier yeah so I'm really curious to see uh how they're gonna animate that once you get to that point. man there's so many po- there's so many moments there's this I like, know what yeah, there's like about. Key moments that you're like bro are they gonna animate this I, I'm really curious yeah, I'm how they're gonna so animate that. how are they gonna animate this so yeah Invincible is one of them ones. So those are my two recommendations. Subscribe to the Young Deuces YouTube page because that's most likely where I'm going to be doing my my Sims modded content and then nice. Invincible. Yep. Uh, I'll go next. Bold, you asked earlier have we been watching Ninja, Ninja Kamui and I didn't answer oh, that because... Was my, yeah, that yes, was my. that's my recommend. That's I, my I, first I, I recommendation. Yeah, um, that's what, that's that, like... that show is great. I know I, I've been reading like as y'all have been talking about it in the comments. Uh, they had a cop suck. He 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 does suck. He's he's the probably the most bland character in the show. But I mean, he real. I, he re- I said the nigga is is literally Daddy Glover. He he he, he very he's much, so much is. Daddy I'm too Glover. I'm too old for this, this shit. shit. Yeah, like he, he's for sure. Too, I'm too I old mean, for but that's how he always treats. Always that nigga like you about to retire in a month. What yeah, you doing? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like I I like y'all been saying the show itself is great. Um, he takes me out sometimes, but. Everything else around it, I'm really enjoying. So, like, if you haven't watched it, it's on Adult Swim. Definitely check it out. Uh, then my second recommendation. Ooh, that one. This one's tough, actually. I'm. I'm actually. I'm gonna recommend hobbies. Doing something new. <laughs> I've been doing something new very recently, and this I really, I take, really. This say get y'all asses outside. <laughs> That's some grass. Man. Hey, go touch some motherfucking grass. I, I, but no, I've been, I've been focusing a lot of my time, um, doing stuff that I, I've been wanting to try, and I think I'm gonna recommend actually getting out and doing something. I showed Deuces yesterday the animation, animation that I made, and I'm really proud of the animation that I made. So. Um, it, it's definitely going to go up on my personal YouTube page as well. Talk about sort of how I've been using Unreal Engine. Okay. So that's your, that's your hobby you can jump into. Yeah, I jumped into I remember you told me uh, you yeah. did some animation he been, a while he been, ago. He been, he been, he been, so, dedicated. He been working on that shit like a motherfucker. I haven't been able to watch a lot of new stuff. I just started keeping up on the stuff that I've already been watching because that shit took me three weeks. And it's a 45 second video. So, um, my thing is, yeah, just definitely pick up a new hobby this week. Uh, it, it's do something just for yourself and not doing something because you want to eventually monetize it. Just try something. Right. Pick up a new skill. It's the year, definitely mm-hmm. year for that. I like that. Right. Uh, mine would be uh, I started playing a new random game. Well, it's it a, it a free game, or but uh, Tales of Arise, which Ooh, is an RPG game. game. 
which I've been really, really enjoying so much because I had so much. Like, I be putting the controller down. It, it turned to an anime. <laughs> bro. Like, it turned to a full-on, like, draw. I'll be like, dog, what? Like, like, and that's like... I love games that do that. Dog, like, when, when it, when it, and then it go back to the action, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, dog. <laughs> like, what, game, what, what game was that you usually say that you did that with? That was, that was me. you. Yeah, yeah. That was more, yeah. Yeah. one, bro. That story's so crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, like, I have, been, I've been, I have, I've been on an, I've been on my RPG, uh, RPG fix. So, it, mm-hmm. it, it, it's, it's very... Resemblance of like the last Final Fantasy, um, where it's like you know all kind of like crowd combat and everybody's mm-hmm. kind of fighting. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, but it's I, it, to me it's because in general like the the anime the, the story and it came. I think like the Arise series. There's a bunch of Arise games. Mm-hmm. So I think this is like one of the first ones that really kind of came out. It's like in the scale on Xbox, but it's like it was on the past. So it's been out for a very long time. Hey, uh, family family games get 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 stuff like Fall Guys and. Uh, what's the other one? Fall Guys. I ain't um, got PlayStation, so I ain't got Hell Divers. I need to, I need to like. I, I, I recommended Hell Divers last week, this, last episode, yeah, so I couldn't recommend it again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, Fall Guys. Um, oh, Among Us, like those are all family cozy games. Mm. Um, Gang Beast, I guess. Is oh probably. yeah, Gang Beast is a good one too. You know, what I'm Castle saying? Crashers is a classic. That was if you, I don't know if you on Xbox or whatever. But that's literally just like a four-player mm-hmm. couch co-op, mm-hmm. like storm the castle, beat up enemies, yeah. like like playing, or even if you can get all the Ninja Turtle games. Yeah, like well, the Ninja, like the Ninja Turtle fire, games yeah. are on there. Dra- the well, double I, double dragon, up, double dragon year. got a game on there. Yeah. Uh, then they bring back Streets of Rage. I think they brought yeah, they like one of them. Double Dragon got a DLC coming out. Yeah, do they? Yeah, yeah. Like I, I love those too. I still play the shit out of yeah. those. But uh, as always, the OG recommendation, man. Make sure I go to the geeksetpodcast.com uh, website. Of course, Bacardi's been, you know what I'm saying? We're we getting things back up with the merch, you know what I'm saying? We're so getting we things got, up. We got the Black Geek Doc, you know what I'm saying? Uh, merch of, you know, as, as seen on Kev on stage in his videos, as seen. Uh, I don't know if Angel or Joshia wore their stuff yet, but we're getting those out. We're starting that campaign. Like I said, literally, yeah. make sure y'all subscribe to the Patreon, patreon.com backslash geekset. Uh, I am about to start giving putting up some updates uh, in regards to the black geek doc because we got some things moving man yeah no no we have no we got 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 we in Chicago to see you guys at C2E2. If you have mm-hmm. you will but, be at C2E2, tap in. But, Make sure you tap in with O uh, and uh, Simone's event. They got something Oh, going yeah. Oh, on. I'm coming out there. Oh, I'm out there. Out, yeah, I'm out there. That's yeah. Saturday night. Yeah. Huh? We outside. We outside. For sure. Oh, outside. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right. That could be, that oh, yeah. that could so be your hobby. Thank you. you I, I know I saw you subscribe, and we didn't do an update from last episode, but you were about to get a whole lot of new updates. I want to let you know. Going, we're going to make it work for you a while. Um, you know what I'm saying? And we have different tiers. So, you know what I'm saying? Different tiers get you different things. And we have bonuses based off of, you know, the tier and the level and how long did you stay. So we're going to make sure we show uh, we show up and show out. Um, C2E2 is April 26th or the 28th. Mm-hmm. Don't quote. It's last week in April. Last week in April. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So we, um, okay. but um, make sure you go to check out some of our past episodes. Again, subscribe, like, you know what I'm saying? Share, throw them eagles in the chat. Tell more people to show up, man. Let's say I appreciate the 113 people that's watching today. This is I love of, you guys. This is the community that we want. This is everybody so talking. Much fun. You know what I'm saying? Y'all adding into the conversation, and we want to continue to do this. And you know what I'm saying? You know, we're rocking with Sway's universe and we're we're bringing content over there. So the more that we can amplify this culture and show them us, you know what I'm saying. And then, and, and you know, we're the reporters of the culture, so we can't show them us unless y'all are here and y'all are with us. And y'all, you know, what I'm saying, so we want to be able to talk about the dope shit that y'all are doing, the people that y'all are viewing, the things that we are into, but within within our culture and everything like that. So continue to support, continue to show up, man. Again, appreciate all of y'all 100. percent And you know, as always, this is the only podcast that blend hip hop culture and geek culture together. And we are out. Peace. Peace.